going so fast? Sorry. There, there should be a whole wave and a whole thing. Hi, everybody. There. <laughs> well, you probably didn't want to stand because look at those shoes. That's uncomfortable. My feet hurt. Well, of course they hurt. That, no one should stand in things like that. They're That's, cute. They're beautiful. Thank you. They're actually beautiful. They and look the, like um, the girl from Wizard of Oz in pink. They do. Right? Yeah, Dorothy yeah. is her name. <laughs> um, <laughs> Have you seen it? <laughs> like when I was two. You're supposed to watch it every year. I know. Oh, it's so good. Watch it again. Okay. And play Pink Floyd to it. <laughs> That's, <hot. laughs> That's what I've heard. I've heard if you turn the sound off and start the album at the same, have you ever heard that? And you put Pink Floyd on, it goes exactly to the soundtrack, exactly. That's funny. I'll Do try, it. I'll try that. Come on, you have that kind of time. Do yeah, it. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> What is it? Now, here's the thing. Do you remember the night that I, I put your pigtails in your, your drink? Yeah, you ruined my hair. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you said it wasn't your hair, and that's why I did it. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> right. It was like, it was, ex now, is that your hair? No. I never know. extensions. So how long is your hair? It's probably, like, up to here. Okay. But I just have to, like, cut it and do things. Like, this movie right now, they want really long hair, but right. I cut it short, so now I had to make it long again. But doesn't that take, every extension is, is like, it's a big, it's huge deal. yeah. Right. And that, so the pigtails, that's why I didn't think twice about it, because you said it wasn't your hair, so I just dipped it in your drink. <laughs> oh, the Whatever, fun I cool. have. Um, <laughs> all right, so this is, this is amazing to me, because you, uh, you say you don't understand the, the old hoopla, and I want to ask you about that. But this is, we, we got magazines. This is one week, and, and you are mentioned 30 times in, in all these magazines in one week, which is, don't you think that's insane? Yeah. <laughs> and, but why do you think that people are obsessed with you and they, and they write about you all the time? I think because I'm young and I'm doing all these things right now. I'm singing, I have a movie coming out, I have um, my jewelry line on Amazon.com, I have my clothing lines, my perfume. And just, I think it's so many things. I think it kind of inspires young girls to, you know, go for their dreams. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, I'm doing all this work and I'm having a great time. And I'm blonde. So I think, you know, like Marilyn Monroe, there's all these great blondes. Yeah. I'm blonde and I don't get mentioned that many times. <laughs> I need to get a jewelry line or something like that. That's what I, now how in the world do you have time to, to do all that? A jewelry line and everything else that you mentioned. You're singing, you, you have an album coming out, I have right? An album coming out, yeah. And what kind of music is it? Well, my first single is called Screwed, and it's like a rock song. Mm -hmm. It's like Blondie. It's like Debbie Harry. It's really uh -huh. hot. And Screwed is uh, a sweet little ballad, or <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's about a girl who gets screwed over. All right, and now so this is because uh, I, I mention your hair also because it's always different every time I see you. Mm -hmm. And this is uh, everybody's comparing you to Farrah Fawcett, who's going to be here tomorrow. And this now, were you trying to channel Farrah Fawcett here? Is this um, this was at the Teen Choice Awards? Yes. And now, my friend John is like an amazing hairstylist, so mm -hmm. he came up with this with me, and I love Farrah Fawcett, mm -hmm. and that whole Charlie's Angel look, so I was like, let's do it. It looks great. Mm -hmm. But now, that's your hair or no? No. Yes. No. <laughs> a little of it. <laughs> a little of it is your hair. There's some stuff added into it, yeah. Because that would be bad and torturous to your hair to constantly change it like mm -hmm. that, right? Yeah, with all the burning it and... But you're into, into, into all the different dressing up things. It's fine for you to want to do it, but here's where I draw the line. What's with you dressing up Tinkerbell all the time? <laughs> she loves getting dressed up. At, no, oh. she does not. She's a dog. No, she, she really does. Like, she has a closet full of clothes, and anytime one of my other dogs puts, I have a dog named Dolce, who's a Pomeranian, uh -huh. and I put one of Tinkerbell's robes on her once. Okay, here's a picture of you oh. with your dog. <laughs> That's just a little kind of cape thing, right? That's just a little shirt. And what's the shirt say? Does it say something? It's Are embarrassing. You... It says Von Dutch. That's when Von Dutch was cool. Mm-hmm. Oh. <laughs> Is Von Dutch, we're over Von Dutch over. now? Over. I got to get rid of all my stuff. Um, <laughs> all right, so, but you have little booties and stuff you put on the dog, too, mm -hmm. right? She can't like that. She does. No, how do you know that? Because she smiles and dances. <laughs> she likes, she really gets mad when the other animals have clothes on. You already been listening to Pink Floyd, I can tell. <laughs> she smiles and dances. What else do you have besides Tinkerbell? You have other animals, right? I have, I have two ferrets and a pixie bobcat. What's a pixie bobcat? It's like a miniature one. It only gets like 20-something pounds. 
So it can only tear a kitten apart. It's, <laughs> I mean, aren't they wild? No, it's really sweet. His really? It's Liger. It's really sweet. It's a little baby right now. How old is it? Um, two months. Wow. And they can get litter trained and all that? Yeah. And they're like, is that legal to have a, a bobcat? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> it escapes though sometimes and it will climb up the entire tree like a real lion. It's really scary. It's a bobcat. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I, I love one. animals. I do too, but it's a bobcat. Tinkerbell, have you checked on her lately? How long have you been here? <laughs> They're actually the same size yeah. right now. Not anymore. We have to take a break. We'll be right back right after this. We're back with, with my friend Paris Hilton, and uh, we're comparing all the things we have in common. And uh, all right, so here, here's talk about The Simple Life. Have you all seen The Simple Life? Most of you have? <laughs> it's a very interesting concept. It's you and Nicole Richie uh, going to. Well, you, you describe it. Well, it's basically us doing jobs that we would never do in our life and messing up on them, getting fired. L because you <laughs> haven't really, you had not, not had a job. No. Not, you've never held a job. No. Okay, so then suddenly you go to these small towns and you're doing things like what? Making sausages, being housekeepers. At when you say making sausages in the factory, in a thing, yes. like not at home. Like making them in the butcher okay. shop. And then you went to a nudist colony? And we we're uh, housekeepers for the hotel. Housekeepers for the nudist colony. Yeah. And <laughs> and did you have clothes on? That's a stupid question, but yeah, we did. You did. They didn't want us to. We were like, no, I'm not doing that. That's okay. So weird. And you were a housekeeper. Yeah. Um, and you, you did what? You like vacuumed and stuff? We did everything, like clean the toilets, made the beds. Did now, how, do you do that at home? Do you clean your own house? No. No. <laughs> but it really made me appreciate, like, when I go to a hotel and I like, I used to like just mess up the whole room with my friends. Mm -hmm. And now I feel bad because I realized, you know, we cleaned one room that was so gross and I was like, I feel bad for the people. So now I try to keep everything clean. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's a lot of work for people. Yes, it is. That. Um, I just want to remind you, your last name is Hilton, which is a hotel. <laughs> yeah. And you have to know that people clean hotel rooms. You knew that beforehand. I know, but I didn't know it was that hard. <laughs> okay, yeah, it's hard. It's I didn't really think about it until I actually had to do it. It's also very relaxing, too. I find there's nothing better than cleaning house or, or watering or doing things with your hands. It's a good thing. Do you find that now or no? You don't. No. You don't, but you appreciate <laughs> it. But, but I least, appreciate it. You appreciate yeah. it. At least you look at people and say, oh, you know, these jobs are hard. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, well, here's what you can help me out with, because uh, I'm going to the Emmys this Sunday, and, and so I've got to walk the red carpet, and I know that, like I said, you're mentioned constantly, there's a very, there's a certain way that you get a lot of attention on the red carpet. I'm going to show you what I'm planning on doing, and then you're going to tell me how I can improve it. Okay. Let's All right. It. Let's go. After you. <laughs> All right. Where's the paparazzi? <laughs> well, <laughs> first of all, have you said hello to my little bird? Hi, little bird. Hello, little bird. <laughs> um, all right, the paparazzi is will face this way because it's they'll the, be on both sides. Yeah, they'll, they'll be on both sides, of course. So to give both um, sides. And... But I'm going to pay attention to this side yes. because the cameras are here. You guys are over there, right? <laughs> so, um, and this is what I usually do. I'm going to go a little faster uh -huh. because we don't have the time. But but here's how I do it usually. Uh -huh. You have to enter in royal and regally, but not like a snob. Act like you're wearing an invisible crown. And it's all about confidence. Mm -hmm. You want to pose, slenderize oh. your hips. Uh -huh. And you could do a certain pose, it depends on what you're wearing. But one cute one, if you want to look like a little Tinkerbell or something, you go like that. Uh -huh. Now, what's the thing about, you're usually, there's, I see a lot of them, there's a back thing like that going on. That's the over the shoulder. Uh huh. When you go, they like that. I don't know why. They always tell me to do I it. I don't know why either. <laughs> you just have to walk down knowing you're hot. Know that I'm hot. Yes. <laughs> so, so basically, I, I noticed the look down tends to be really, really kind of like, oh, I'm shy. Well, you have to like smile sweet and look nice. <laughs> and never close your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> And then it's the separation thing with the, the leg and then slenderize your hips. Yeah. Like that. Well, that's supposed to be a sideways thing, right? 
It can be either way. I've just seen the people, the, the news women and all the, you know, the entertainment, they're always, everyone's sideways, like some kind of weird, like, <laughs> everybody's standing like that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's I how I too. stand. All right, well, I think I'm going to be a big hit on the a red carpet at the Emmys. Yes, you will Thank be. Thank you so much for all of your advice. <laughs> Thank you so much for asking Thank you. Here. You got in trouble in that clip. Yeah. You got in big <laughs> trouble. That's not like y'all. All right, do I open it now? You can open it now, but there's another one that's coming at the end of the show. Really? I'm going to dress you up. So it's a Wednesday night. It's your birthday, and yeah. you need to go out on the town. And, and are we going out tonight? Definitely. All right, great. Oh, look at this. You have to wear it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because you're a well, hot blonde. I am a hot blonde. <laughs> I've... And these are great. Yeah. Look at that. Cute as can be. And they're pink, which is your favorite color, mm -hmm. which is why. Thank you so much. And you're it's welcome. in pink uh, tissue paper. Everything's pink with you. Except today, you're not wearing pink. I know. You're wearing blue in honor of me, because that's my favorite color. Exactly. All right, let me show you what I got you, because, you know, I went to the 99 cent store. Have you been? <laughs> yes, I love that store, actually. You've been there? Yeah, it's Oh, cool. you're lying. You've I never been, been in there. there. I've been there. What have you bought there? Just, like, random junk. Like, I like to go to Chinatown and things like that in San Francisco. It's uh -huh. fun, even though it's, like, cheap, fun stuff. Yeah. Like, who cares? They had, I was surprised. They had all kinds of bargains in there. I can't believe someone's, some of the stuff is 99 cents. Yeah. It looks like Yeah, we're getting ripped more. off in other places. Yeah. All right, I couldn't <laughs> decide what to get you. I know you like pink, so I got a duster, like a, a feather duster. That's hot. Which, it is hot, and I just, but I know you don't clean, but somebody can use it, okay. you know? <laughs> um, and then, uh, I know you're a good cook, right? Yeah. So I got you an oven mitt, and it says princess on it. Aww, which, yeah. of course, that's you. And then, uh, look at a pretty little handbag. Um, sexy. Yeah, sexy and hot, and you can keep a cell phone in there, or what have you. What else do you carry with you usually? Just wads of cash and a cell phone. Yeah, and a sidekick. Roll, and then, yeah. And your sidekick? Mm -hmm. Well, you can have your sidekick hold this. You that's don't need hot. to be holding anything. <laughs> Thank right. you. You're welcome, and it's in a pink bag because everything is. Uh, and you That's owe me two ninety seven. Okay. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> all right. So is is everything in your house pink? I imagined you to live in a pink house with a pink bedroom and a pink. I just moved into my new house, and it's like Spanish, but my room is totally pink. It is everything in it. Yes, I love pink. Everything's pink. The bed, the the drapes, the Tinkerbell's little bed. Uh huh. It's fine. Now, how's that going to be? Because I read, and this can't be true, but tell, you're, you're 23, mm -hmm. and you plan on being married and have a child by the time you're 26? Yes. Hopefully. How's that I going? Think, I don't know. I've lived my life for so long, and, mm -hmm. you know, I've had so much fun, and yeah. I think, I don't know, just something that would Yeah, it's almost you over. You better hurry up. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I want to be a young mom like my mom. Yeah. But now, how's that going to be? What kind of guy is going to sleep in a pink bedroom with a pink... <laughs> Because I think Carson from Queer Eye is not available, so... I mean, who's going to... I'll change it up. You'll I'll change it up. It won't yeah. be all pink anymore. No, that's not fair. Yeah, no, it's not. Now, well, I won't ask you if you're on your way, but really, what happens if you're 25 and you haven't met somebody? You're just going to all of a sudden go, you, and because you want to no. have a child? No, no, that's you'll just a goal. Okay, so you can postpone it till 27 or 28. Yeah. Right, <laughs> all right. Um, and so what's, what's going on with all the acting and with... You're doing tons of stuff now. Mm -hmm. I have House of Wax coming out in June, and uh -huh. National Lampoon's Pledge List, and I'm doing six more films this year. Wow. So. Six more films this year? Yeah. How can you fit that in with your... You're still doing The Simple Life. How do you have time? Just working nonstop. But don't you go out at night and, you know... Not as much anymore. No? I really, since but New don't Year's you love to party and, like, boogie down and, you know, like, I've seen yeah, you... Yeah, I did, but uh, I'm too tired now, Yeah. You know? You're too tired now. I have to wake up at 5 in the morning to do, like, talk shows and things like this, so... So you don't go out anymore? Not really. What do you miss most about going out? Seeing you. Oh, that's <laughs> sweet. We've only seen each other twice. <laughs> <laughs> Just, like, dancing and having fun. Ah! Right? Barrel, the store for all your living and entertaining needs, is giving each of you a $50 gift card, which you can use at any Crate and Barrel store or online at CrateandBarrel.com. That's great. Uh, all right, so tonight the, uh, the third season starts of The Simple Life, mm -hmm. and, and you're, you're doing all kinds of... Uh, what, what, what's happening here? You're not working. Uh, sleeping. No, it doesn't look like you're... And we're copying our body parts and That's what I thought. <laughs> All right, and this is you, uh... Directing traffic for planes. Oh, that's dangerous. <laughs> the airport. 
Who would have, who would allow that? I don't know. Who would think that that would be a good idea? It was in Jersey. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know. It was, it was in New Jersey Air Force. They let it was in it. Jersey. <laughs> well, it looks hilarious. I and love Jersey. Yeah, well, yeah. Say that. Um, <laughs> but no, it looks like they didn't really put you in charge of too many things. Like that could screw anything up. No, we have people supervising us. Yeah. Well, I look for it starts tonight, so yeah. I look forward to seeing it again. And thanks for being here. And I guess uh, you're going to put me in an outfit a little later in the show. Definitely. That uh, I can't wait. You're gonna look um, hot. Would you do me a favor? If I'm in an outfit, will you wear something that I would wear? Sure, that's fine. Really? Yeah. All right, so later in the show, you'll wear something I would wear, and I'll wear something you want me to wear. Okay. And then we'll go <laughs> out and, uh, and dance or something. All right. Hi, I'm Paris Hilton, and since today's Ellen's birthday, my gift to her is a totally hot outfit so she can hit the town tonight in style. And because I love her so much for her birthday, I'm in full Ellen style. Are you ready to see your hot host? <laughs> Okay then, please tell hey hello to Ellen. comfortable I've ever been in an outfit. Yeah. <laughs> I feel really comfortable. This is the most uncomfortable I've ever been in an outfit. Um, and I actually, I think I was supposed to wear this without jeans, but I, I put <laughs> jeans on anyway. But, uh, oh yeah, this feels good. <laughs> we'll definitely go out and party tonight. Definitely. Yeah, thanks a lot. I'm not taking this off until the show's over. Um, <laughs> thanks so much for dressing me up like this and thanks for being here. But That looks, uh, something bad happens to her. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, did you like doing it? It was, was, it, it was a lot of fun. Is it, was it a scary? Great experience. It's a really scary movie. I yeah. didn't think so while filming it, but after seeing it, I was screaming in my seat. Really? Yes. It scared you after you had done it? You... <laughs> no, when I watched it, like, while filming it, you're not scared. No, of course not. You're not gonna scream if there's a camera right there. That'd help you. <laughs> The cameraman yeah. would leave the camera and help you if there was something really scary <laughs> happening. But then you were scary. You were scared watching the movie. Yeah. So that is, it's truly a scary movie then. Yeah. Um, all right. So tell us what what's the you have a a, a new boyfriend since you've been here, which is good. You're on your way because last time you said you needed to be married and and have kids in uh, <laughs> several years, right? A couple of years. In like three years. Three years. So good. And you didn't have a boyfriend, so now you're closer. Yeah. Um, <laughs> There's, there's your boyfriend right there. He dyed his hair. I don't like it there. You don't like it? Is it, is it the, what color is it it's now? It's brown now, normal. It's back to brown? I told him to do it blonde and then it looked orange. So I was like, uh -huh. get rid of it. Oh, you told him to do it blonde. I thought it'd be cute. Uh-huh. And he just dyed his hair for you? He likes dyeing his hair. He doesn't care. He'll do oh. whatever. And his name is Paris as well? Yes. And, and how does that work out? Did he change it for you as well? Did he change his name? No, no, actually it's a funny story. I met him when he was 14 and I was 16 and we were in Monaco at this club and uh, we were dancing and he said his name was Paris and then I said mine was and then we didn't see each other for like eight wait, years. Wait, you're in a now. club in Monaco, he's 14? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just like anybody's life, go on. And then we didn't see each other for eight years till his birthday in December and uh -huh. we've been together ever since. That's in, in, in December, mm -hmm. you've been together since. Now, and does this seem like you're living with him, right? Yeah. And, and how is that? It's great, I'm really happy. Yeah? He's the best guy. You're in his house. Yeah, but, I have my own house too, but. No, I know, but my question is, you have a thing for pink. He likes pink too. Really? <laughs> <laughs> I have actually a pink room in the house with like pictures of me everywhere and it's pink. It's hot. <laughs> You were out here three minutes before you, you said hi. I, I couldn't it's believe it. a world it. record. Yeah. All right, so he likes dyeing his hair. He has a pink room in his house. Good luck to you. No! Um, <laughs> Not at all. All right. So, all right, and, and, but you're very happy, it seems. I'm so happy. Good, I'm glad. All right, and, and what's going on with The Simple Life? Because now Nicole's not on the show anymore, is that right? Yeah. I don't know much about it. I just heard that y'all had a, a, a kind of splitting of uh, friendships. You're not... 
I just want to make the show better and hotter. Mm -hmm. And I don't know, like, it's just, I need new people on it. I've had a great three season. It's been a lot of fun. But now I just want to freshen things up and bring someone new on the road. And, and who do you think it's going to be? I don't know yet. We're, we have, like, three top choices. Mm -hmm. But one I like the best. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty busy. I would like to do it. <laughs> I'm sure you're thinking of me. That would be hot, you and I. Yeah, I would. That would be hot. If I had the time, I'd do it in a heartbeat. That'd be hot. Because I would make you, I would, I would say, you can't do it that way. I would be the one trying to do it the right way. And you're, you're the one going, oh, I don't care, doing it, whatever. <laughs> um, all right, so, and also, I love this about you, that you, you love animals. You have a, a, a bunch of new animals now, right? Yeah, I just got a new chihuahua named Bambi. Is, do we have a picture? Oh, God, that's a cute little dog. It's a, it's a short hair chihuahua? Oh, you have it there. Yeah, uh -huh. he's tiny. And it, what's his name, Bambi? Her Bambi. Name? He looks like a little baby deer. Uh huh. <laughs> All right. And then you also got sugar glider, which my brother has. Sugar glider. Mm -hmm. That's a flying squirrel. Squirrel. Yeah. Um, where do you find? Where do you purchase a flying squirrel? In Las Vegas, you can buy anything at the store, like monkeys, tigers, whatever you want. <laughs> you cannot buy tigers. Like miniature ones. They only get like a hundred and something pounds. What do you mean miniature? They're breeding miniature tigers? In Vegas? Yeah. <laughs> well, that should stay in Vegas. That's what I think. <laughs> It'll bring it out of Vegas. Look at this cute little family photo. This is you and your, your parents, and uh, you're on the phone already. Look at you. <laughs> I was trying That's to hurry her up. That's very cute. Yeah. All right, and, and what's, what's great about it is your mom is here today. You have a good relationship with your mom, right? We're best friends. Do you, you know a lot about her? Yes. Really? I talk to her 10 times a day. My mom is the coolest. I love her. I love my mom, too, and I think she's the coolest, but there are things I don't know that I know about her past. And so what we thought we'd do uh, in honor of Mother's Day, uh, Kathy, her mom is here, Betty, my mom is here, and we're going to play a game when we come back to see who knows our mama the best. So we'll be right back right after this. Paris Hilton, and in honor of Mother's Day, please welcome Paris's mom, Kathy Hilton, and my mom, Betty DeGeneres. Right. Don't let us see those cards. All Keep right, those on your right. lap. Mamas. All right, and Paris, what do you call your mama? Do you call her mama, mother, mommy? Mom. Mom? Mm -hmm. Have you always called her mom? Mommy. Yeah. Mommy. <laughs> mommy? Little, yeah. I used to call her mother. I was trying to be fancier, and now it's mama. <laughs> um, okay, we're going to play a game to see uh, how well Paris and I know our mamas, and it's called Who's Your Mama? Our producers gathered some facts about both of our moms, which neither Paris nor I have seen. Together, our moms are going to read each fact, and then Paris and I are going to decide who it's about, whether it's Kathy or Betty. And each right answer gets one point. Whoever scores the highest wins. Oh, mama. <laughs> okay, uh, ladies, together, read, please, the uh, first fact, and then we'll guess. My, My first, first car, car was, was a, a Chevy, Chevy Camaro. Camaro. Betty. Wait. <laughs> Did I play it right? Is yeah. it, who is it? It's Betty. It's Betty. You had a Camaro? You wrote in it. That wasn't your first car. It was my first car. Oh, well, that's a trick question then. <laughs> oh, it doesn't count. All right. All right. <laughs> Read the next fact. I consider my, my best, best feature to be my hair. <laughs> <laughs> Who's Betty. mommy? <laughs> oh. Oh. That's not good. Mama? <laughs> You're always complaining about your hair. Hmm. <laughs> All right. 
fact, next fact, please. My first pet poodle was named Buffy. Buffy. Kathy. Kathy. Uh, yeah. Oh, finally. I don't know the name of the dog. <laughs> All right. It's one, one up. Go ahead. Let's uh, next fact, please. My favorite song is "We Are Family" by Sister Sledge. My dream job. Wait. My dream job is, is to, to be, be a talk, talk show host. <laughs> Kathy. Kathy. Oh, hi. Oh. Oh. Right. Good. All right. <laughs> After I saw your closet. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Next fact, please. My, My first, first kiss was from, from Billy Harrison. Harrison. <laughs> That's it. Uh, happy Mother's Day to both of you. Actually, thank you. Y'all are the winners, so happy Mother's Day to you. Oh, it's so sweet. <laughs> Presents for mom in the dressing room. Okay, thank you. And uh, I want before you go, Kathy. I know you're actually on your way to, to having a talk show because you're now you have a reality show as well. Well, it's not a talk show. It's called I Want to Be a Hilton, and it's fabulous, exciting. All right, so it starts when? June 21st, and you're the first. We just found out about a half hour ago. That's great. Yeah, That's you're an NBC. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you. So you've been here for special shows. You were here for the Mother's Day show. You were here for uh, my birthday show. Mm -hmm. Now you're here for the Best in Show. Yep. It, it's a party when you're here. I love to come here. And uh, tell me what's going on. You and we don't have to talk about it long, but you and Nicole, you're starting the new season, which I was surprised to hear you're doing it again, because you're not talking. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> and yet you're doing a show together. And look, you just just. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, <laughs> what would it take for y'all to make up? Is there something that that I can do to facilitate this? You've been best friends since you were kids. You know, right now I'm just I have so many good things going on in my life, and I just. I want to focus on the good and just all right. keep living my life. All right, let's not talk about her then. Um, <laughs> all right, so, and now here's your new boyfriend. Speaking of, it, all your boyfriends, well, no, I shouldn't say that because you've had boyfriends from here, but he is from, what's his name? Stavros. St Stavros? St That's great. Stavros. And he's, uh, yeah, and, and uh, do you like European men better than, uh, than um, American men? Yeah, I think just they're different from American men. I like American men too. I'm friends with them, but. Mm -hmm. Um, he's just, I know, has a, knows how to treat a woman and just very European. I like it. And what did you, and what did you do for his 21st birthday? You did some crazy things. I took him to the Laker game with a bunch of friends, then a surprise birthday at my house, and then an entire weekend in Vegas last weekend. Mm -hmm. It was pretty fun. That is fun. Yeah. Now he, you're doing that, just setting it up that he has to do something really huge for you. <laughs> That's always good when you start dating somebody that you actually start the birthday surprise, because then it, it sets up, well, they better. And it was 21. 21 has to be special. I had like five parties for my 21st. What, what so. did you do? I'm curious. What was your 21st birthday like? I went to New York, LA, Vegas, Paris, London, and Japan, so six. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Um, <laughs> in my head. Um, <laughs> I think I had some Boone's Farm wine and... <laughs> Uh, um, all right, so, and let's talk about this because I, I don't feel it's right to not bring it up and let you have your say in your piece because Pink was on recently and she has that video out. Do you, what do you have to say about that? Do you feel anything that you want to say? Do you just, are you mad? Are you hurt? Or what do you feel about that? You know, I haven't even seen it yet, but I think, you know, when people make fun of something, it's just a form of flattery, like, just something that they obviously are looking at. Mm -hmm. Like, in SNL, if they make fun of you, like, it's, it's not, like, that embarrassing. It's actually funny. I don't mind. Right. So you haven't seen, you haven't no. seen it. Well, do you, I mean, do you feel a responsibility? Because for me, I, I love being in this business, and I love that I can have some kind of you know, opinion and something to say and influence. Do you feel like you have a responsibility to be a role model at all? Um, yeah, I think I definitely am a role model. I work very hard and, mm -hmm. you know, I came from a, from a name, but I've done my own thing. And mm -hmm. 
I prove if, if you can really work hard and do what you want to do, mm -hmm. you can be the best of it. You're doing a lot. You, yeah. I mean, your perfume is huge. I mean, mm -hmm. like doing really, really well. And now you have an album coming out. Yes. And uh, when does that come out? My single will be out in June, and mm -hmm. then um, August, September, the album. And you wrote a lot of the songs? I wrote like seven of the songs. Really? Yeah. And now what's the name of the album? It's self-titled, just Paris. Uh -huh. And now, are you over? Because I thought, you know how I said that you're hot when you're coming out? Are you over that? Have you now moved on from that's hot? Yeah, I'm over it. Because everybody's doing it now. I know, everyone does it now. So now you have to start a new anymore. thing. What is it? Because I want to be right on the cutting edge. <laughs> um, what do you say now? That's sexy. That's sexy? <laughs> that's what I'm going to say. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's sexy. Now, how long have you been saying that? Am I going to start saying that and you're over it already? Or No, that's pretty... A couple months now. All right. Just a few <laughs> months. That's sexy. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Great. Um, all right. And so you brought... Ha one of your dogs, I'm keeping away from my dog. I heard that it tried to... Uh, Bambi? No, the one from Tokyo. Which one from Tokyo? Or One's Tokyo, named that, Tokyo. That's the one. That dog tried... It was wearing a tutu and attacked my dog. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, I, she thinks she's like a ninja. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, that's what tutus do to you when you're wearing them. Um, why is she wearing a tutu? I love it. I, this company, Little Lily, makes the cutest dog clothes, and all the clothes have, like, ballerina and, like, bikinis and just... Bikinis? Yes. Like, two-piece things for a mm -hmm. dog? That's pretty wild. They make everything for dogs nowadays. That's sexy. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna we're gonna take a break and then we're gonna meet uh, all four of the dogs. Yes. And and uh, not my dog at the same time. <laughs> Are they still wearing the clothes right now? Mm -hmm. All right, we'll meet the dogs in a minute. We're back with our best in show show. David, tell us about our next guest. Please welcome back Paris Hilton and her four smooth coated Chihuahuas: Tinkerbell, Bambi, Harajuku, and Tokyo. Smooth coated Chihuahuas have their origins in the Far East but found themselves in Mexico, hence the name Chihuahuas. They were bred as companion dogs and are part of the toy group. They tend to weigh no more than six pounds. And although small, they are very protective of their owners. They don't know how to get up the stairs. This one's not putting weight on its back leg. Who Pink. Tinkerbell always does that. Why does Tinkerbell run with her leg up? It she makes just has me... done it since she's a baby. Really? Yeah. We got it checked out oh, and there was nothing. They're going to get tangled up. Come here. Oh, and now how many times has anyone stepped on one of these dogs? I would worry about that all the time with dogs this small. Um, they oh. don't really go out that much. Like if they do, they're in, like I'm holding them usually. Uh-huh. Tell me their names. Tinkerbell and... Bambi, Harajuku, Tinkerbell, and Tokyo. And oh. Harajuku and Tokyo are... From Tokyo. And where and how did you get them here? Just brought them on the plane. <laughs> <laughs> you say that so innocently, that's illegal. Um, <laughs> well, I but mean, wait a minute, it's sexy though, I'll tell you yeah. that. <laughs> um, so uh, <laughs> how did you get them on the plane? Well, at first they said no, and then I said, okay, please talk to the captain, and then I was crying to the captain saying how cute they were. And he said if the stewardess said it was fine, then the stewardess loved them and let them run around first class, and they were fine. Let's bring Gibson out one more time and see how they look with Gibson. Can they go down on the ground with Gibson? Yeah. All right, let's see. Uh-oh. 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 Bambi. Bambi, be careful. Don't step on him. <laughs> now, would Gibson bite these dogs or no? No. Gibson they might bite him. Oh, I know. Those <laughs> little dogs have that complex, don't they? <laughs> oh, he oh, has been. Oh, care, careful. That's Tokyo. Care Tokyo, oh, will, yeah. Tokyo will get on top Gibson, of that dog. Look at Watch puppies. out. <laughs> what? It's a puppy. What? Um, okay. <laughs> We're going to play a game uh, right after this. Paris and I are going to play a game called uh, Pardon Me, Is This Your Dog? We'll be right back. Personality. Paris and I are going to put that theory to a test as we play Pardon Me, Is This Your Dog? That's 
sexy. All right. First, let's meet our floor dog owners. This is, uh, who's Andrea? Andrea, right here? Yeah, probably your name. Andrea, <laughs> Rick, Megan, and Lisa. And we're going to each ask them a question, and uh, we're going to use our animal instincts to try and match up them with their pets. Uh, but first, let's meet our floor dogs. Let's bring them out. Our first dog is Whiskey, a St. Bernard. Oh, my. St. Bernards, of course, are a working breed best known for its rescue work in the St. Bernard Pass between Italy and Switzerland. They can weigh as much as 175 pounds. At the other end of the spectrum is our second dog, Jake, a Yorkshire Terrier. This is the most popular toy breed in this country. At five pounds, the ultimate portable companion. Our next dog is Skeeter, a Belgian sheepdog. Beautiful, athletic, agile, and an alert herding breed, but best known in Europe as the most popular police dog. And our fourth dog is Jackson, a boxer pit bull mix. This happy, exuberant young dog is a loyal companion and a wonderful family dog. Megan, uh, does your dog, uh, who weighs more, you or your dog? Me. All right. All right, Rick, is your dog a boy or a girl? He's all boy, Paris. Okay. <laughs> all right. Um, what, what, uh, what kind of commands do, does your dog obey, Andrea? My dog will sit, uh -huh. and my dog will shake. All right, 30 seconds, and uh, let's bring them to who they think. Uh, all right, go. And here Jackson they go, where? the okay. judges okay, Rick. are working together, matching Whiskey. up a dog with the here. owner. Yeah. <laughs> the St. Bernard is already going home with Paris. All right. And there's right. the Yorkie on the end, the St. Bernard. All right, raise your hand if you have the right dog. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, 30 seconds. 30 seconds, go. ready, go. Go. <laughs> Lisa, you take this dog. And now they're trying to get it right this time. How many combinations can they have? <laughs> There's the Yorkie into the second yeah. slot, that the Saint that looks like with right Rick. Good. All right, all right. <laughs> Raise your hand if you have the right dog. <laughs> all right. Okay. Mama. All right. <laughs> no, 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 no. You just relax. That's okay. This, this dog is—I don't know. Some, something's going on between them. They got—it's not sexy. I'll tell you that. All right. All right. You're each getting a gift bag, a basket filled with all sorts of great doggy goodies, as well as a $200 gift card Help! from Petco. <laughs> On E, the latest American Idol cast off joins us after this. We'll be right back. That's not sexy! You look, you look better than you've ever looked. Thank you. You do. You look healthy and, and uh, glowing and, and uh, sparkly. I'm really happy. I'm really happy. Good. You yeah. look happy. Thank it's it's you. nice to have you here. You've been traveling all over the world, haven't you? Everywhere. I don't even know what time zone I'm in right now. I've been to Russia, Tokyo, China, Korea, all within like the past two weeks. I just got home. I haven't been home in a long time. Are, are you so jet lagged? You know what? I travel so much that I'm not even on a time zone. Uh huh. <laughs> Literally. That's great. Mm -hmm. That would be great to be on no time zone. Yeah, it's, and you it's could pretty go, interesting. And, and what are you traveling doing? I'm um, just promoting my clothing lines, mm -hmm. my fragrance. Mm -hmm. um, just finished a film, so wow. just around the world traveling and going. I've never been to China. I've never been to Korea, so it was cool to like visit those places. Really? See, I would think that you have been to all those places, but so those were two places yeah. you haven't been. Those are like, yeah, those two places. And you loved it? Yeah, it was really incredible. And, and well, first, you get recognized everywhere you go? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And how do you deal with that? Do you have to travel with tons of security? This um, is, where is this, China? That is, yeah, that's in China a couple days ago. Uh -huh. You yeah. kind of stand out there. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> I mean, the, obviously, they recognize you. 
but do people dress like you there and want to be like you? Um, some of the teenage girls, when they come to the signings or mm -hmm. if we're doing a uh, appearance, they'll be there and mm -hmm. they dye their hair blonde and they have a little chihuahua. It's uh -huh. really cute. <laughs> they all go out and get chihuahuas to go meet you? Yeah. Hopefully they keep <laughs> no. <yeah. laughs> Everyone loves their chihuahuas. Uh -huh. They're sweet. Yes, they are. Yours, yours were here and they went to the bathroom in my dressing room. I know. Uh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, we've cleaned it. Um, all right, so now, and, and this is, I don't, how does this happen? Okay, last month there were uh, elephants. Uh, where did this happen? Someplace overseas. The elephants, this is India. your, huh? India. India. All right, and this is the quote that is all over the press mm -hmm. from you. The elephants get drunk all the time, and it's becoming really dangerous. We need to stop making alcohol available to them. Um, <laughs> tell me about this. I read that too, and I'm like, how would an elephant get alcohol in the first place? Why would I talk about that? Why would I care if an elephant got drunk? <laughs> Can an elephant get drunk? I've never talked about that in my life. You've so, never heard about it? You've no, I've nothing. never. I didn't even know an elephant could get drunk. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think they can still. Well, it, it would take a lot. But they said I said, but they always Quoted. put words in my mouth all over the, the press all uh, the time. Yeah, there's another story with that you want to be, here's your quote, uh, about being frozen. You want to be frozen. It's so cool. Almost all the cells in the body are still alive when death is pronounced. And if you're immediately cooled, you can be perfectly preserved. My life could be extended by hundreds and thousands of years. You know me. Do I talk like that? No. <laughs> <laughs> Does that sound like yeah. something I'd say? So this, and again, in quotes that you've said this. I don't want to be frozen. Yeah. No. No. But you say it's, it's kind of creepy. But you actually. say it's so cool. No. I didn't say that. So now, <laughs> and how do you feel when you see? I mean, at, at this point, it's been going on for a while. Do you just, does it just roll off your back, or how do you feel? Well, when I was younger, when it first started happening, you know, I was a teenager, so it was kind of, it would hurt my feelings. I'd cry and like. Mm -hmm. Be upset, but now I'm, you know, 26 years old. I'm an adult. Mm -hmm. These things on the internet, you know, people just make up rumors. People are mean. They mm -hmm. want to make up stories. They're bored on the computer, mm -hmm. and these stories just get blown out of proportion. So I just laugh at it now. We, it's literally comedy. Every morning we wake up reading these stories. Really? So you do read them, and it just, you just, it makes you laugh. Yeah, I don't just go around looking for them. My right. friends will send them on my BlackBerry to me, and we'll just laugh because they're all with me when these things are mm -hmm. supposedly taking t place. Right, right. And so, do you try to avoid like you know the tabloid shows and, and the magazines and stuff, or if you if you see one, you pick it up and just. Well, yeah. If you're getting your hair done, your nails done, that's right. there. If you're Who getting your work? nails did and your hair did, yeah. you got to. <laughs> uh, but you really are. I mean, you're a nice person. You're a really you. good person. You're a nice person. And people just kind of make up stories, and then that becomes another story on top of a story. And then you're sitting back yeah. on uh, what? You know? It's, but, it's hard because when people know me, they see I'm a lot different than mm -hmm. the character they've made me out mm -hmm. to be. And does but does anything hurt you anymore? Is there any or? or mm. Sometimes. I'm a human being, you know. Yeah. Obviously, I get hurt, but yeah. I try to be strong. Yeah. You have to be yeah. living in this town. Yes, you do. <laughs> and, uh, and, and are you and Nicole friends again? Yeah, uh -huh. I'm so happy. And have you seen her recently? Um, I threw her a baby shower last week, and then my sister and I had lunch with her yesterday. Oh, that's great. She looks so uh, just breathtaking, so happy. Yeah. Her tummy's like this big. It's like... <laughs> It was kicking during lunch and me and my sister were holding it. It's just, I can't believe she's having a baby. Oh, that's great. Now, does that make you want to have a baby? Yeah. Really? <laughs> but I don't have anyone to have one with, but uh, I, bet, I, want I bet there's somebody out there that would have one with you. <laughs> Stryker just raises his hand. It doesn't, he just, you Hello, know. Parents. Yeah. Hey, what's up? Nothing, how are you? Chilling. Good. <laughs> what now, are you doing later? No, I'm just <laughs> So you, but if you found someone, you don't want to rush into that right now, but Not are you dating now. anybody um, at all? I'm single, but I'm dating around. I'm looking. Like, mm -hmm. It's really hard to find guys in yeah. LA. How do you trust a guy? How in the world are you going to trust a guy that it really just wants to be with it's, you? It's really hard. Mm -hmm. You just have to, I don't know, with me it's hard, but I'm a really good judge of character, so I can kind of tell and read mm -hmm. people really fast. But I'm just looking around, seeing what's out there. What if you would be the new, <laughs> the new? I'm single now. I'm not dating anyone. What if you would be like the new Bachelorette, you know, like on, on uh, you know, like The Bachelor and they do The Bachelorette and then you could pick and choose. I mean, not that you can't now. I don't usually like the kind of guys that would want to be on that kind of show. Right. Well, we could do it where we don't tape it. No. There's, there's two contortionists on the show today that are, uh, they're very limber, you know. That's hot. Yeah. <laughs> 
So you're still saying that's hot. I know. I'm not joking retired. with you. Do you have it just with me? Mm -hmm. Do you have a new thing that you're you're using now? Because you know I'm always trying to copy you. Whatever whatever the thing is, I'm going to say it. What's the new thing? Um, the new phrase on the streets because I don't the go new out. Phrase. I don't really have. There's a not a phrase. I don't really. No. No. All right. That's, that's hot. Pause. We're just going to hold on yeah. to that. All right. We'll just you hold guys on to like that. Yet? Hot. Yeah. 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 Uh, <laughs> all right, we have to take a break, and we're going to come back and talk about uh, all the other things you're doing, just uh, the perfume and the clothing line and everything. We'll be right back with Paris. We're back with Paris Hilton. So what is the name of the clothing line? Uh, Paris Hilton. It's Paris Hilton. <laughs> yes. And how did Very you come original. up with that? Yeah. <laughs> um, I did a, a line with Dollhouse, and um, I don't know. It's my line, so I want to name mm -hmm. after myself, and it's really cute. I actually brought some stuff. Here's one of the T-shirts. These so are great. Now, where are they? Where do you find these in LA here? Um, Kitson's, Macy's. That's these are really great. cute. It has like my autograph in the back. And these are uh, the really cute jeans, the really cute stitching, and like the look, back. People is, like, are loving these. And that's Those my are name. cute. And now, the front how with the studs? They're really cute, really comfortable. And how affordable are these? Everything's like under a hundred dollars. Like the jeans are like eighty dollars. I want everything to be really affordable. That's great. That's great. I feel like. Like when girls go shopping, sometimes things are so expensive. Like some people don't want to spend like hundreds of dollars on something, you know. Yeah. So it's nice to have Most things. Most people that... don't. No. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, that, and, and how I brought you... you a present oh. for you and Portia. Some clothes oh, for later. Oh, thanks. You're welcome. Cute jeans and stuff. <laughs> Those will look hot on you. Very cute. Those are great. I love Skinny these. Jeans. I love these. Well, I can't wait to go through this whole thing. Thank you so much. And there's Welcome. tissue paper for wrapping things later. Yeah. Um, Christmas is coming up. Now, uh, <laughs> and now how, how involved are you? Do you actually help design these things? Yes. Really? All the designs. Are you loving that? It's so much fun. I've always loved fashion, mm -hmm. and it's always been a dream of mine to have my own fashion line. So now that I'm doing it, and I have shoes coming out, purses, jewelry. It's really exciting. Wow. And during the commercial break, we're listening to your song that you, you know, your hit song that yeah. did so well. Yes. And now, perfume called Can Can. Mm -hmm. How come? How come? <laughs> can Can. You know the dance, like at Moulin Rouge, that like Parisian theme? That's what we did. It's good. Oh, that smells good. Mm -hmm. That's nice. It's very like sultry. And... It is sultry. Mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> Thank you. That smells good. Now, how did you pick this out? Did you go and, and hang out and put things together? Yeah, this is my fourth fragrance. Mm -hmm. So I always go in with the perfumer, and we just go over all the notes I like and mix them together. Yeah, the notes. The yeah, Mariah Carey was on talking about the top note. What's the top note in this one? Passion fruit. Passion fruit's the top note. What's the middle note and the bottom note? Freesia and gardenia. Oh, I like gardenia yeah. a lot. That's, it smells really, really good. Guess what? You're all getting a bottle. <laughs> Did you watch the Super Bowl? Yes. No, you did not. <laughs> no, I didn't. No, but, but then you saw the catch, though. That was pretty oh amazing. My God, that was incredible. Even if you don't like football, you've got to be impressed with that. I mean, do you know that this is a football? Are you a sport? Do you play sports? <laughs> do you play anything? I actually play ice hockey, so yeah. Ice you play ice hockey? Mm -hmm. I cannot Since imagine that. How often do you play? I haven't played in a while, but right. I was an ice hockey team in high school. But like any kind of sports, like, like tennis, any kind of ball, sport, basketball? Um, I play tennis. Yeah. Sometimes basketball. I just the reason I ask, I'd like to see you throw a football, just because I, I can I would like to see how you would throw it. Where? Anywhere. <laughs> I suck at it. That's all right. <laughs> That's at all least right. I didn't hit anyone. No. <laughs> you know, you'd be good like once you make a touchdown spiking it. That's how <laughs> <laughs> You'd be good. You don't need to know how to throw a football. I was just curious. Yeah. But now, <laughs> let's talk about something that you, you, a huge accomplishment. You just got an award from Harvard. Yes. What did they give you? Um, the Woman of the Year Award. Wow. Yeah. That's a big deal. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. Um, I went to my first frat parties uh -huh. at Harvard, and the boys were really sweet. I bet. And I got um, honored to be in the Lampoon. We did this initiation. They gave me 
this cool medal. That's very cool. I mean, that's a, that's a big deal at Harvard. And then yeah. they give you this, and now... And they gave me keys to the house. They have this thing called the Lampoon Castle, and uh -huh. they gave me a key to it so I can go whenever I want. Really? Yeah. You don't have to call and say, is it okay if I come by? Mm -mm. They, they just would <laughs> receive you anytime. Yeah, it's pretty yeah. awesome. That is nice of them. And, and what did you think of Harvard? It was a beautiful campus. Mm -hmm. Everyone was so nice. I had the yeah. best time ever. I felt like I was in college. Yeah. Did, mm -hmm. you, did you go to college? No. Oh. No, I but you felt it. like you were in college just being there. Yes. Did you carry books and stuff? No. No. <laughs> just felt like walking around. Just went to frat parties. Yeah. Just fun. All right. <laughs> well, that's college. That's like being in college. Yeah. Just frat par parties. All right. And and with the boys, I mean, they must have been. Did you meet anybody? They're smart There's guys there. They're all going to really do. Really nice. Did you really meet anybody sweet. that you want to date? Maybe. Really? <laughs> really? I don't know. No, I met some cute, some cute guys. They're really? really sweet. So no, that's a good way because you meet so many people, but you're meeting a whole group of guys that are just all smart guys mm -hmm. and going to be successful and cute. And so what's a his name? A lot different from LA guys. Yeah, very different from LA. Yeah. What is his name? I'm not telling. All right. All right. <laughs> um, and and Nicole uh, had her baby, Nicole yes. Richie, and and you've seen the baby and so sweet, cute, sweet. We had two sleepovers the past week mm -hmm. over at her mom's house. The baby is like this tiny. She looks exactly like Nicole. She's so sweet. Nicole's so happy. Ah, oh, that's great. That's mm -hmm. great. Um, all right, and let's talk about. I was talking about in the monologue all the animals that I sleep with, and <laughs> and I, I know how many do you have now? Oh my goodness, I have seventeen dogs. No, you don't. Yes. Seventeen dogs. A lot. Well, they no. all sleep in my bed. They do not all sleep in <laughs> no, your bed. Kidding. Not all of Where them. Where do they? But I let some some of sleep them. in your bed. Sometimes, yeah. Now, did you bring any with you today? No. You just decide, like, how do you decide who goes with you? Um, just, I don't know. I just, I, I trade it off so they don't get jealous. Right. I'll they, bring, like, three out at once. Three out at once. Mm -hmm. And, um, how, 17, why do you have so many dogs? Because they keep having babies, and I feel bad to give them away, because I feel like if I had a baby and someone gave it away, it'd be mean. So I feel bad for my dogs. Paris, you have to spay and neuter your pet. They all just got fixed. Yeah, all of them? Yes. No, you're lying again. You, you... <laughs> I'm fine. This, you Two can, of them were You could Two never be on Moment of Truth. You just look at me like, did you watch the Super Bowl? Yes. <laughs> um, all right, we have to take a break, and then we're going to talk about your movie and, and why you should fix your pets. Yeah. We'll be right back. Tell us about the hottie and the naughty. It's a really sweet romantic comedy. It comes out today, so I'm really excited. And it's just hysterical and funny, and it's, a, it's just a love story. Mm -hmm. and, and you would be the hottie in it? Yes. And there's someone who's a naughty. Mm -hmm. And is it a, like your friend or something? My best friend. Your best friend's a naughty. And do you try to make her over into a hottie, or do you just accept that she's a naughty? Um, I accept she's a naughty. Yes. But, and and, and she, then she becomes. She becomes a hottie? Yeah. Oh, you gave away the ending. Uh, no, I'm kidding. All right. <laughs> All right, so, and now, because you don't have enough going on, you have a new, you have a shoe line? Yes. Shoes. Mm -hmm. Can I see them? Yeah. I actually brought you some, because I know it was your birthday. You brought me some shoes? Yeah. Oh, those are so me. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. These are... Those are so you. Those are so me, Paris. <laughs> How do you know me so well? We don't even hang out that much, and yet you know who I am. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> also, He's good. Well, I brought you something for my new hair extension line. Wait, wait, did you say you have a hair extension line? Yes. It's called the bandit. Is this a joke or is this for no, real? No, it's for real. This is real. Yeah. It's your what's it called? The bandit. And you can put it on if your hair is like having a bad hair day, you just put it on, you can have long hair. <laughs> put it back farther. Today, we're going to do some cooking experiments with Omaro Cantu after this. 
Hello, Paris. Hello. How are you? Good. You look very summery, and I feel very wintry. I feel like uh, we didn't we didn't come together, which we didn't. I know, but we didn't but plan it out. Not at all. We should call each other next time. Next time. All right, Promise. but you look great. Thank you. You look fabulous. All right, so I'm um, I'm happy for the the fact that the show got on the air, and uh, I didn't uh, make it, and I don't know why I didn't make it, but uh, how many people applied to this? Like over 300,000. Over 300,000 people applied. Did they really think that they would become your best friend? They just wanted to be on television? Is that what the p point was, to um, weed them out? It, yeah, we did all these like tests on them and challenges to figure out who was a loser, who was a user, uh -huh. and got rid of those people. Who was quickly. a loser and who was a user? You'll have to watch the show. Is there the a show. good side? There's a, either loser or, or user. No, those losers and lo users got out, got and I kept all the good ones. Were there good ones? Yes, there actually was a lot of good ones. And did, it's over now, right? Yes. Did you get a BFF? Yes. How much have you hung out with that person? Oh, uh, everyone's asking that people don't think I have, but we really have. She's, we've been hanging out all summer. Really? In person, yeah. Really? Mm -hmm. But she's not a BFF. She's just she's someone that you're obligated by contract to hang out with for a, <laughs> a little while, right? I can't say if it's a boy or a girl, uh -huh. but the person who won is, is definitely my best friend. Well, you said she a minute ago, so we now know it's a no, girl. It was my, cause no, I'm you, with you, so I said she. No, no. Anyway, <laughs> all right. So, all right. So uh, it, now I, I've seen some of it, and it appears that the way you're weeding them out, there's some mean things that you're making them do. Are just you concerned that you're sending a, a message that in order to be your best friend that you have to, I mean, you're, you're, you're mean to some of these girls. No, I'm not mean. Actually, I have friends come in who do cameos, and okay. they kind They're of mean. do the mean part. Okay, so me. you just sit back and let them be mean to them. I mean, some of these people, <laughs> first of all, I guess they deserve it, because they actually applied. And, and you yeah. know, <laughs> I mean, they knew that they were on a television show that was just, you know, I mean, really? We had to torture them a little bit. Right, and you did. Mm -hmm. Now, how many people, now you, have, you must have a lot of friends. Do you yeah. have a lot of friends? Yes. But ha how, how many close friends do you have? I don't really trust a lot of people. Yeah, I don't so blame you. my only really best friends are Nicole and my sister. Mm -hmm. And the rest of the girls in this town, I and don't And your really boyfriend. Know about. And my boyfriend is my best friend as well. Yeah, let's talk about Benji. How long have y'all been together? We had our seven month anniversary yesterday. Oh, that's oh. cute. And that's uh, so, uh, and they called it puppy love. He's backstage, he loves you. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Oh, great. Well, I love him. Good. Uh, and so, <laughs> but I hear that like you really have, that he's changed you. You feel like a different person since you've been with him. I've just really grown up a lot. I think for the first time I'm in a really great relationship with a guy that I really trust and who treats me really well and who would never hurt me. And I've just grown up a lot in this year. And, and how did y'all meet? We've been friends for like seven years, and then when Nicole had the baby, I went over there and we hung out and got a crush on each other, and from there, we were together. And what, what is it about him that has changed you that you feel like he's different? Well, just my whole lifestyle. We don't really go out as much anymore unless it's for work, so mm -hmm. I just feel like an That's adult. That's a huge <laughs> shift for you. I mean, you used to be out all the time. Yeah. And do you miss it, or you just feel like this is why? I mean, like, it's why I don't go out, because I have someone at home. I don't want to leave the home because I love being at home. Mm -hmm. So do you feel that now you have yeah. someone? I think when you're, when you're single, it's different because you want to go out with your girlfriends and have fun. But when you're in a relationship and you're in love, you, there's no point in going out because you just want to be together. Mm -hmm. We should, you know, because I don't like to go out and you don't go out anymore. We should go out together, like, just, you know, once to a club. That'd be fun. Is that okay? Let's do it. Yeah, but I go out like at eight. Is it? Is... <laughs> Nothing's hot by eight. Nothing's hot? Not by But eight. I'm in bed by like <laughs> 10. I, I'm literally, I go to sleep by 10.30. We can do an early night. Like, it, like we could, I mean, with your pull, we could open up like Hyde or something at eight. Yeah. And then it just. <laughs> just with, me and you. Just me and you at, at Hyde. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! All right, I look forward to it. All right, we, I want to ask you about this whole John McCain business, about mm. him talking about you after this. We'll be right back. <laughs> We're back in Paris. So for those of you who don't know what that was, and that was all over YouTube, I guess uh, John McCain used an example, you and Brittany, mm -hmm. uh, in, a, in a negative way against Obama, right? Yes. So that was your retaliation that you did a, a hilarious spoof. I just thought it was kind of lame for him to, like, be using us in a negative way to compare to someone else. Mm -hmm. Like Brittany and I have nothing to do with the election. Why bring us into it? Right. So, so McCain does that with it was an ad, and I guess with the irony here is, is your parents both contributed to the McCain, yeah. <laughs> to McCain, and then they must have been furious that he used that money to do something 
You yeah, know? they thought it was pretty ridiculous. To yeah. Do that to their daughter after Give that. us our money back, you know? Yeah, exactly. White-haired dude, as you called him. <laughs> um, White-haired dude. All right. Um, Paris Hilton's uh, My New BFF airs Tuesdays at 10 o'clock on MTV. We'll be right back after this. Don't go away. Well, uh, when uh, My New BFF, uh, Paris Hilton, was here last month, we made a plan to go out clubbing. So I picked her up at her crib, and we hit the town the other night. Not night. It was more early evening or late afternoon. You'll see. OMG, you guys. Hey, when you think of partying and Hollywood and clubbing, only one name comes to mind, Sigourney Weaver. But she's busy. So I'm going to hang out with my new BFF, Paris Hilton, and we are going to par party. Party. Paris! Hi. Hey, Paris, how's it going? BFF. Hey, listen, I'll something, okay? And like, right. Twice, like that, that, like that. European, and then back and forth, <laughs> like that, okay? We'll do this. <laughs> <laughs> and then turn around. Whoa, 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 whoa! Okay, that's like our that. thing, okay? Whenever we I see like each other. That. Okay, wow, this is the, what, parlor? I've yes. never even sat in here, really, but it's... You've never sat in here? No, not yet. <laughs> um... Now we go this way? This is my kitchen where I cook. Where you do what? You don't cook. I cook. Oh, that's right, cook. you said you did cook. Well, no, I, everyone has a stove. That's hot, by the way. I know. Hot. Oh, wow. It's 4.30. Should we head over to the club? Is it hopping yet? I want to uh, get there right when it's hopping. This might be a little early. Early? OK, we'll wait a half hour. Wait, what's this? My clothes closet. Right. Looks like a store. <laughs> I need some like leggings under it though. Uh, this is leggings, isn't it? Jeans, jeans. The jeans don't really match. I don't know. If that's gonna work. <laughs> it's a, re a really like. Did it? I had some, uh, it's cutting. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> 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 there she calls it. Wow. There used to be a gym. God, I'm so excited about tonight. Me too. It's going to be fun. What about a move like, um, because we're going to dance, right? I'm thinking of like a, a move. Arrah! Arrah! It looked good. It was hot when you did it. Thank you. Yeah. We can practice dancing in my club. In a club? Mm hmm Where? I'm so, so
they just pull the thing up. Great. Here, let's do this thing. Let's do this thing, right? You be club it. Do it. This is so much fun. God, somebody, they didn't clean up last night. A perfectly good drink right there. I wouldn't drink that if I were you. Yeah, something's weird with that. Don't drink that. <laughs> I'm so tired. What tired time? already? Yeah, what time is it? Uh, 7.30. What? I haven't even had dinner. I gotta go home. All right, uh, uh. Uh, uh, yeah. Oh, Paris. I love you, Paris. Thank you so much for hanging with me. We'll be right back with Zach Efron. All right, it's time to read some viewer uh, mail in our segment, Sign Seal Delivered. This comes from Christy Wingler in Goose Creek, South Carolina. Um, a lot of gooses we're talking about today. <laughs> Dear Ellen, you know, I watched the show the other day with Paris Hilton and her show regarding her BFF, and I thought that it would be cool for Ellen to have a BFF. Uh, I would definitely like to put my name in the hat to be Ellen's BFF or just hang out with her for the day. Uh, that would be the most awesome thing in my life. Thanks, Christy. Um, Christy, wow, I would, uh, that's flattering. I'd love to be your BFF, but I promised Paris that I would be her BFF forever. Um, <laughs> I don't know if uh, everybody saw it, but I mean, we are BFFs. So I went, you know, clubbing with her, remember? because I know a lot of people are like, oh yeah, you did that, but maybe you're not really best friends. And uh, I know her number by heart. You know, I'm gonna call and see what the 411 is. And uh, let's see. I'm serious, I'm gonna call her, you guys. <laughs> see what's going on with my BFF. <laughs> She's gonna freak out. Hello? Are you shaving? What's happening with that noise? <laughs> what's up? Hey, Ellen? Pa yeah, hey, Paris, what's up? What's up, BFF? What's up, BFF? I miss you. <laughs> I miss you, too. We need to go clubbing again. I know. That was so much fun, but I can't stay out that late anymore. I got to be home before 8. But um, <laughs> where are you right now? I'm here. Where? With that, that was so much fun. That was ill. That really, oh yeah, that's what I meant to say. It was ill. Um, so, do you want to help me dunk somebody? Because we're we're dunking people for uh, feeding America. Wouldn't that be a good cause? Yeah. yeah. I'm not gonna put you in there. I'm gonna. You're gonna throw. How about uh, Abby Lucero? Where's Abby Lucero? Yes. 
stand over here, Abby. Where do you live? What do you do? Valencia. Uh-huh. Um, I work at Home Depot. All right, great. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, and I love that you're going to do this. Uh, this month, our friends at Sara Lee, who uh, make those great desserts and soft and smooth bread, are helping us raise money for Feeding America, an organization <laughs> that puts food on the tables of millions of families in need. For every person that we dunk this month, Sara Lee is going to donate $10,000 to Feeding America. All right, so, uh, and you volunteered, right? You said you'd do it. I'll do it. All right, <laughs> Andy will bring you over there. So you can stand here. You can uh, take off my bling. Let me take your. Let me hold your bling. Okay. Um, <laughs> all right. Uh, I'd watch it for you too. I, I, I... <laughs> Look how you're holding it. It's not a basketball. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can get closer. You can get closer. <laughs> questions to see if we can reveal your identity. Um, have we worked together before? We have. Uh, are you hot? Hmm. Do you know who it is? It's, it's either Brittany or Paris. I think so, too. Take that home. That that looks good on you. Thank you. I already asked for it. And they said yeah, I, I, I bet you did. <laughs> I bet you did. Um, well, thanks for being here. I had no idea that was you for all 12 days. I know it was really hard work. I bet. Mm -hmm. Thanks for thanks for making the time. Okay. And uh, what are you gonna? You have lots of animals that you're gonna buy for this year, aren't you? Yes. Are you buying a lot of uh, presents for your dogs? I actually do. They actually have their own Christmas tree in their doghouse. Really? Yes. It's so cute. It's pink. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> do they pee on it? Probably. Yeah, I bet they do. <laughs> yeah. Um, and uh, are you going to have good holidays? You going away? Yeah, I'm going to go to Aspen to go skiing, and then I'm oh. going to go to Australia for New Year's. Oh, wow. That's mm -hmm. fun. That's Listen, that tape piece we did together when we went clubbing, we got such great response. People loved that. It's one of our favorite moments of 08. So thanks for oh, hanging I with me. That. Yeah, it's so much fun. It really was. It was great. All right, well, um, go find something special doing that tonight. Uh, that looks good. Hi, BFF. Hi, BFF. I'm so glad you remember it. We run into each other uh, not uh, as often as we should, being BFFs. Yeah, no. But when we do, we remember the uh, secret BFF uh, greeting. We do. Yeah. You look all, you look so uh, springy, and, and uh, you look like you should be on a swing under an oak tree. <laughs> and Thank you. Yeah, you look really That's fresh. That's the look and, I was going for. Yeah, it's good. It's Thank a good you. look. You look, you look great. You look great, too. Oh, thanks, BFF. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> Now, what happened with uh, Benji? Last time I saw you, you were with him, and he was the love of your life, and what happened? You, <laughs> I thought you'd call me and talk to me about it, but... I know. I texted you about it. Oh, I don't text. <laughs> you know, Benji and I are still really great friends. Are you? Really? Hi, Benji. Are yeah, you, are we, you we really are, friends? We are still friends, yeah. Well, what happened? 
You know, I just, we, I just think are very different, you know. We, well, yeah. You know, I mean, we all saw he, that all along. He, he's an amazing guy, and we had a wonderful time together, and mm -hmm. we were, we've stayed friends, and, mm -hmm. you know, I'm happy now. <laughs> in, what do you mean, happy dating or happy in a relationship? I'm just happy right now. I just, like, I'm really enjoying life. Yeah. Well, you're always enjoying life, you seem. You seem to really take advantage of every aspect of life. You seem to, to really, like, live life to its fullest. You have to. You only live once. I feel like just live it up. Right. Yeah, and you're doing it. But mm -hmm. are you single or are you in a relationship? Um, I don't know. <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you the difference. Single is... <laughs> <laughs> like, like, just dating a bunch of guys or not dating anyone at all. A relationship means you're only dating one guy. I like someone right now. You like someone? Mm hmm Is it, what's his name? <laughs> that guy? Ah! Where did you get that? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Somebody gave it to me. <laughs> so you haven't seen that? No, I haven't. Well, the I was, I was right wearing there. that last night. Well, that was last night. Yeah. How did you not see that there was somebody right there? <laughs> I mean, it was you're in the you... car. There's tinted windows. I don't know. Oh, really? That's through a tinted window? Yes. Oh, that's scary. The paparazzi nowadays, their cameras, I think, are very high tech. Go through that. Well, yeah. And what's his name? He's cute. Thank you. Um, his name is Doug. Mm hmm. And how long have you been kissing Doug? Um, <laughs> we've been friends for like almost a year now. Mm hmm. And um, yeah, we just. Then it we're... started just kissing. <laughs> No. We just got back from Tokyo. Uh -huh. It was a lot of fun. He bought me a puppy. Another puppy? Oh, my God. What kind of puppy did he get you? It's a tiny teacup Pomeranian. Uh-huh. It's the cutest dog I've ever seen in my life. It's literally, like, this teeny. Right. I love him. He brought it back from Tokyo? We were in Tokyo, and we were at a pet store, and we saw oh. it, and just, I fell in love. Oh, now, does it live in the mansion with your other... She's got a, a, a dog mansion, like a doghouse mansion that other dogs live in. It has a balcony and a little picket fence and a yard and stuff. And a chandelier. And a chandelier. And I didn't go inside. Yeah. Um, That's cute. So it, it, does it get along with the other dogs? You know, Marilyn is very jealous, mm -hmm. my little blonde Pomeranian. Mm -hmm. You know, when I'm not there, she's all over him. But as soon as I'm there, then she's like, Mom, yeah. I'm the number one. Yeah. So, you know, he sleeps in bed with me. I don't put him in the doghouse. He's, he's too little. He's You're going like to crush baby. him. He can't sleep in the bed with you? No, he does. He does. He's really... That's tiny. Cuddly. All right, so and here's something else I want to ask you about, which I just found out. I don't know, because I don't pay attention to a lot of the stuff. Like that, I had no idea until someone handed it to me. Um, here, the last time you were here, we were trying to capture George Clooney. Mm -hmm. And I wanted you to go over there and, and help me capture him. So we've captured him. He's come here. But it turns out not, you've captured him. You've, like, you've dated him. You dated him this, this summer. That is another rumor. Everything there I... are pictures. Not dating. I was at dinner with a group of friends. Oh. And... Just eating, you know. There was no, there was and he was there. there in that group. Yeah, we're all friends with the same people. He's a very, very nice man. But yeah, he is. No. But now you got this guy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you're very happy about this guy. You look I'm really happy. I'm Good. Really happy right all right. Now. Um. So really, you didn't date George Clooney? No, that is a rumor. There's been so many rumors. Every time I'm seen with a guy, guys I've never met in my life. I read about them that we're dating, we're engaged with mm -hmm. this. It's it's ridiculous. Right. No, it must be hard. Guys must be scared to, to like, the, well, not that that would be a bad thing that they're dating you, but, like, all of a sudden it puts them in a relationship with you. It's it's weird because mm -hmm. no matter who I'm seen with, I'm automatically dating them. So yeah. it's it's annoying. But, all right. you know, my real friends, like, my BFF know the I truth. Knew. Yeah, that's why. I mean, I was asking for them. I had known. Yeah. But anyway. Um, <laughs> all right, so we have to take a break, and I have a, I think I have a gift for you. And oh, yeah, I know I you like gifts. gifts. I think you're going to like it. Because okay. I've been to your house, and I know what's going to fit in there. All right, we'll be right back. Back with my BFF, Paris Hilton. <laughs> All right, now, what happened to the B... You're shooting another season? Are you done shooting BFF? Or you just uh, yes, started? Yes, I'm casting right now, and we start shooting, like, next week. Okay. Mm -hmm. And what happened... The, didn't you find a BFF last year? Yeah, but we did another one in London. So I have my No, British... but what happened to the BFF here? Um, I, we're still friends. But she's not your BFF? <laughs> well, I'm excited to do season two. It's <laughs> really fun. Is that what you're told to say? Well, I'm excited to do season no, two. The new cast is, like, amazing, uh -huh. so I'm excited. All right. So the, the, the old BFF turned out not to be uh, your BFF. She's, she's cool. Okay. 
Was she? Was You're she, my BFF. I know. I know. You're, and you're replaceable. I, and I'm open to the fact that you have other BFFs. I, I'm fine with that. I'm just wondering what happened to her. Chilling. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now you're doing this one here, and then you did one in London, you said? Yeah, I just, I, the one in London's on right now, okay. all over Europe. All right, and now you're going to do one in every country? I've actually been offered to do it in basically every country, like Dubai, Japan, Australia, Russia, Germany. I'm, I'm like, I don't know how I can have this many best friends. Like, my phone is going to be blowing up with text messages. But you'll do it, right? That would be fun. Um, you know. What's I, the next one you do? Dubai seems like that would be an interesting one. That's going to be really interesting. Yeah. But LA is next. Mm -hmm. so. All right. So you're just taking it one at a time. Mm -hmm. All right. And so the other one, you won't tell me what happened with that one? Okay. I said um, it's all good. <laughs> all right. Well, when I was at your house, she's got this cool, she's got like a, one of those uh, photo machines you sit in and you take pictures and we took pictures together. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I, where is it? It's coming out. Um, I got you this for your house. And I, I'll, you know, I'll come over and help you figure out where you want to put it. Okay. All right, you want to take that off, guys? Me or them? I'll, like, break it, probably. Huge! Oh, look at that! I love it! That's so awesome. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. I want to see that, that in there next time I go. This is going to be right above my bed. All right. Me and my sure. BFF. Good. All right. I want to see it next time I I'm there. I love that shot. I know. I like it, too. Us in you know house. me so well. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> All right, we'll have some uh, brand new web videos after this. Paris Hilton, everybody. <laughs> about you well I can't imagine you in a bad mood like you walk and you're just you're you, you bounce when you walk do you know that like when you walk there's a little bounce to your step and you're just happy you always look like you do you get down do you ever get sad I'm usually always happy but That's good. I'm a human being so sometimes I'm sad but, but I'm always happy but you're just you you just you cheer me up when I see you so thank, thank you for you. being here and you look adorable thank you just you. look adorable and what are these what are these the texting gloves that I'm hearing about <laughs> No, they're Chanel. Oh. Chanel. It's cold out. They are, but you know that they're really, those are just like bicycle riding gloves that they put sequins on. You know that, right? Yeah. They're cool, though. I could make you some, they are cool. <laughs> um, is, are they selling those now at Chanel? Mm hmm. Wow. They have them in white, too. I have those in the dressing room. Because <laughs> <laughs> you didn't know which color you're going to wear, because mm -hmm. either would work, right? Exactly. Um, all right, so last year, she surprised everybody. We, our mascot for 12 days was Hot Toddy, and you revealed that you were Hot Toddy. That was fun. That, that was, was really a lot fun. Of fun. <laughs> um, and what are you doing for the holidays? I'm just going to spend time with the family. Mm -hmm. Here and, in town? Yeah, in LA. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to go to Aspen to do some skiing. Uh huh. And um, just figuring out right now what I'm doing for New Year's, because mm -hmm. I have offers from all around the world. <laughs> Me too. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, where, like, for instance, where have you been invited to? Um, Las Vegas, mm -hmm. Macau, right. Hong Kong, Cabo, um, Australia, New York. You know, same places you've, yeah. you've been offered to. Yeah, no, I know. <laughs> and more for me. Mm -hmm. It's a hard choice. It is. Right. <laughs> we should go together. That would be fun. <laughs> yeah, let's get on a plane to, and go together wherever we decide. We have to, or BFFs. Yeah, we are. Mm -hmm. Or you could just come hang with Porsche and I. We're either going to play Boggle or Scrabble. I'm not sure which. <laughs> and be in I'll bed by, like, 9.30. I don't know if I'll be making that one. Yeah, you'll probably be leaving the house <laughs> at 9.30 or 10, won't you? Wow. Yeah. I can't do it. I don't know how you do it. So you're going to go to Aspen. That'll be fun. Mm -hmm. And that's where everybody goes, right? It's a lot of fun. I've been going every year since I was a little girl. But don't so you want to go someplace like, you know, like an island or something? Mm, no. I've been to some, I was in Fiji a couple months ago. Which yeah, was a lot me of fun. too. I forgot. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, I was in, uh, I was in Ventura County, uh, <laughs> I think two weeks ago. Uh, <laughs> exotic. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, like driving all through Agora Hills and stuff. Nice. <laughs> Um, now, are you gonna, uh, you'll be gone, but will you decorate your house? Yeah, my house has already been all decorated. It is? Yes. What do you have going on? 
I have two huge Christmas trees, and the dogs have a Christmas tree in their house, and lights all over. For them to pee on? Why do you have a... a... <laughs> because it's Christmas, and right. they need to get into the spirit, Right, too. so you have, like, a tiny little Christmas tree in their house? It's like this big. Uh-huh. And do really you have cute. ornaments on it and stuff? Mm -hmm. Really? Yes. And in your house, you have two in your house? Yes. Like, one in the living room and one... I've been to your house, so I know. One in your living room and one where else? Right, in the entryway when you walk in. Mm -hmm. Right by this big stairwell. Right, mm -hmm. right. And, um... And what about the outside? Outside just has, like, crystals and lights and everything. Last year, I actually had snow brought in, so we had sledding right in the driveway, which was a lot of real fun. Real snow mm -hmm. or, pl or plastic? Real snow. Real snow, yeah. Yeah. You brought in real snow mm -hmm. to sled? Yes, for my Christmas party. And it lasted, like, two weeks, so it, pretty, it stayed for a long time. How did it last? It's hot here. It was cold during that time. Wow. Mm -hmm. So sledding in your front yard, like back and forth, like 20 yards or something? It's like... <laughs> like in the driveway. Uh-huh. And it was like a mountain, and you could just go down. Wow. So it was cool. That's fantastic. Mm -hmm. I didn't even put lights up in my tree this year. <laughs> <laughs> and, and how are things going with Doug? Are you still with Doug? Yeah. Yeah? He mm -hmm. seems cute. He seems like he's... You, you seem happy. Yeah, he's a yeah? really nice guy. Good. And uh, will you be going with him places? Yes, definitely. Yeah. And how is Nikki doing? Because she got... Uh, her house was broken into, right? Yeah, that was last week, and um, thank God the gardener actually saw someone in the house and scared him away, but he broke the window, and the, we couldn't find the cats. We thought the cats had escaped through the window, but they were hiding under a bed, thank God. Yeah. And, um, yeah, it's just really scary, because the same thing happened During to me. the day? Mm -hmm, right. Two o'clock in the afternoon. Was it the same? Is it the same group? It can't be the same group of people, because they have cu they, they're in custody, right? The people that yeah. were breaking into Lindsay Lohan and everybody's... I don't think they'd have the guts to do it again. I think it was someone else. So it's someone else. Mm -hmm. Do you think it's like a copycat thing? I don't know what it is. Because it was like these creepy. people were breaking into like Lindsay Lohan and Orlando Bloom and a whole bunch of people, and uh, mm -hmm. and they're like rich kids from Bel Air or something, they're high right? High school kids. Yeah. They're all like 17, 18. And they're just breaking into y'all's house. I know. That's scary <laughs> and gutsy. Um, and uh, what about your animals? How many do you have now? I have six dogs. Mm hmm. There they are in their house, chilling in their Christmas outfits. Uh-huh. And I have... Now, do they dress themselves, at the, and do, you know, <laughs> put their Christmas outfits on? They have a stylist. Okay. <laughs> Me. <laughs> so that's in their little house. Yes. And uh, so you have six dogs. And, and they all get along when you introduce a new dog? They don't fight? No, they all love each other. Really? And then what else do you have? I have two frogs, mm -hmm. two bunnies. Do they have a frog house? Do you, did you build a frog house for them? They have a... Big aquarium. Uh -huh. I didn't want to go all. What out. made you want to get frogs, <laughs> Paris? I just I, I'm a tomboy at heart. Like I love going fishing. I love snakes. I love frogs. Uh -huh. I love all kinds of animals, even if they're not furry and cuddly. Right. Oh, I love them too. But a frog <laughs> doesn't seem like a fun pet. <laughs> they're just cool. I don't know. I pick okay. them up sometimes. And you do? Cute. Okay. And then so you have two frogs and what else? The two bunnies. Mm -hmm. And I just got a new parrot. Uh huh. An yeah. African gray. I, they live a long, long time. Yeah, like 75 or 100 yeah, years. Yeah, yeah. So it, <laughs> is it talking yet? He's only five months old, so mm -hmm. he doesn't talk yet. He whistles and uh -huh. kind of whistles along to different music, which uh -huh. is really cute. He loves the black eyed peas. Uh -huh. And um, <laughs> my new piglet, Miss Piglet, who's a little tiny pig. You got a pig? That's her. Wow, <laughs> a little baby pig? Yeah, she's so adorable. That's, I know, they're as cute as can be, and they're mm -hmm. smart. Yeah. All right, we have to take a break. Uh, we'll be back with Paris Hilton. We're back with my BFF, Paris Hilton. We're talking about all the places we're going to go, and maybe we'll run into each other during the holidays. Um, so here's, how do you have time? Because you have uh, BFF, you have the show going still, right? Mm -hmm. Just finished it in Dubai, so that'll be out soon. All right. And then you have a new product line. This is called The Stylist. Is that right? Celebrity Stylist. Celebrity Stylist. And it's like a... Uh, it's... Oh, it, it... Can you hear that? Yeah. It, it can curl your hair. It can straighten your hair. It smooths it out. I used it today. It's a great product. <laughs> How's it look? <laughs> Your hair is a little short, but I love it like this. It looks good. Yeah, it's easy. To, um, but so, so it, it can curl it, and it can straighten it, mm -hmm. and it's got the brush. I've seen these before, the curling iron, but not with a little brush. No, this one's a completely new product. It's amazing. Celebrity Stylist. I love it. All right, so you have this out now, mm -hmm. and then it's hot, right? It gets very hot. Yes. Okay. And then, uh, and we mean that not just like it's hot. Um, <laughs> it's, both. it's both hot and hot. <laughs> 
And now you have Siren, a new perfume, which is, uh, how many do you have now? Uh, this is my ninth fragrance. <laughs> this one has a little necklace on. Yeah, it's like, so it's a whole mermaid feel, so I wanted to have something that goes along with it, so it kind of looks like a mermaid tail with a little mermaid charm. So uh huh. So you have a little you can charm. Wear it as a necklace or that comes on your free phone. with the perfume. You get a exactly. little charm with it. So it's your ninth, you said? Yes. And so, but there was there's seven that's for women and two for there's seven women's and two men's clothes. Wow! Wow! Good for you. Good for you. The Celebrity Styler and Siren is in stores now, and today you're all going home with a bottle. <laughs> play a game called ponytail or mole ponytail and here's how it works we have three women backstage and they all have their hair up in ponytails and we're all going to decide together if it's a ponytail if it's real or if it's one of those fake attachments that you buy at the mall <laughs> so let's bring out the ladies come on out <laughs> what's your name Melissa. Hi, Melissa. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. All right. So uh, turn around, Melissa, and let's just take a look. What do you think? That's, uh, yeah, that's... And this is not from my hair product line. No, We no, make no. them and they look real. Right. <laughs> All right. Uh... Real. What's real. 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 Can I see? <laughs> Hi, Paris. Hi. How are you? I miss you. Yeah, I miss you. What happened? We fell. We were so close, and then it, it, we grew apart. What happened? I don't You've know. been out uh, around been the world. Yeah. You're always all. I'm back. Where have you been? Where Where were you? I've been everywhere. I was in Mexico. I was in Australia. I was in Italy. I was in London. God. So I've been traveling. You're not tired? Um, a little bit, but. <laughs> I love it. This <laughs> is in the uh, Esquire, the women issue, and uh, look at you right here, a girl in love. And uh, where is this taken? That is in my pool at my house. That's your pool? Yes. It's beautiful. Thank I haven't you. been in that pool. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember seeing that pool. Is it's that near where your right doggies? By the doghouse. By the doghouse? Mm -hmm. I saw the doghouse. I didn't see the pool. <laughs> but but you're beautiful, and con congratulations for being in here. And speaking of animals, you have more things, right? What do you have now? Um, well, you, you heard about Hank, my parrot. Last time I heard I was talking about yes, him. Yes, but it wasn't talking yet. It was an African gray? Yes. Uh huh. He's talking a little bit. He's not a year old yet, so he's not speaking fully, but he's actually learned a lot of animal noises from being around the dogs and the pig and the cat. Do we have a video? <laughs> that's your, that's, that's Hank? That's Hank. Hank is in the, the bushes there. You just let him loose? <laughs> It's like you have more animals. He's, it's like having mirrors in the house because he sounds like more animals. He does. He sounds like, and how many do you have now? What's the newest besides Hank? And um, Princess Pigolette. Pigolette? The pig. <laughs> My baby. That's not real. It is real. <laughs> is that a pot-bellied pig or is it a miniature pig? A tiny teacup royal dandy. They're like the smallest of the pigs. What's good is you're always rescuing and telling people and tweeting out to rescue yes. and and good for you, because that's really important, rescuing animals. Important, All right, so let's uh, talk about the, the breakup. 14 months, that was a long time, right? You and Doug? Yes. And it's <laughs> over? You're dating again? I'm just enjoying being single. I don't really want to date anyone yet. Mm -hmm. I just want to just hang out with my friends and my family and 
enjoy life and focus on my work. Right. Mm -hmm. um, so, uh, I, I didn't believe it. <laughs> I didn't believe it at all. <laughs> I'm not, not dating anyone, I swear. I haven't went on any dates. No dates? I uh, won. Uh, one. one. One date. How recently? Last week. Yeah. So next week there'll be another, <laughs> right? But it was someone who I was with for like years back, back in the day. So. What's his name? Jason. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now will you end up with Jason? Do you think? We'll see what happens. But I love him so much, and we're very close. And yeah, I've known him for a very long time. Because I think you need to be with people that know your life, that have been in your life before. Because right mm -hmm. now, anybody coming into your life is just looking to be like a hanger on, don't you think? It is hard, you know, when you meet people, you don't know what their intentions are. So, yeah, it's yeah. difficult. Be careful. Bring me around. I'll, I'll talk to people first. <laughs> okay. All right. Because we're BFFs. I don't know what happened. We, were, we had the whole greeting. Remember our special greeting? All right. Um, and what, we'll make what up you, a new one. Let's make up a new greeting and mm -hmm. hang. Huge. Loves it. <laughs> And uh, Mother's Day is coming up. What are you going to do? Because I know you're close with your mom. Yes, my mother is like my best friend. So we always make it very special for her and give her a nice presents because she's the best mom in the world. Come on down, best mom in the world. Kathy, come on down. Great, and you are here to talk about something very important. Okay. Well, MS, multiple sclerosis. Mm -hmm. That's what we're here for. It's a cause because my grandmother, I grew up with it since I was a year old. She was diagnosed, and back then they had no drugs for it. So only time I really knew her, she was in her bed and or in a wheelchair. So it was just something that's really close to my heart. And now they've invented six FDA-approved drugs with two more in the works with all the research they're doing. So um, this is a charity we've been working with forever. That's fantastic. Nancy Davis's and Paris designed a t-shirt. I'm wearing one of the t-shirts. And 100% of the proceeds will be donated to, and there, uh, there are 300, so they're limited edition. And um, you can go to Kitson mm -hmm. online or erasems.org. And there's jewelry and gifts, and this month we're branding the month of May orange. All right, and, and like breast cancer's pink. Yes, orange. Orange, and uh, isn't the slogan "Orange, you glad something"? That's Wasn't right. Something like that? That's right. It was clever. It um, is. All right. So oh wait, I, I just have to give you this. Okay. This is from Paris to you. Yes. Uh, see now, my BFF. That's yeah. right. <laughs> Thank you, Paris. So you have to get online and order. All right. Mm -hmm. For more information, you can go to our website on the Nancy Davis Foundation and what you can do to fight MS. And uh, a little later, we're going to send you on the lot. We're going to put an IFB in Paris's ear and send her out like we did with Dennis Quaid and have her uh, cause havoc. Yeah. Ellen. Yeah. You said be embarrassed. There's somebody. Conrad, could you stand up? Can you say hi to Conrad? Because he came here to see you today. My brother. Hi, Conrad. That's my little Brad Pitt. And he loves you. He thinks you're the most beautiful girl, he said, other than his girlfriend and your eyes. And he says, I think it's cool the way she dresses, too, Mom. Oh, <laughs> well, let me go hug him. We'll be oh! right back. Paris is, uh, Paris is outside the Warner Brothers store here on the lot. And she has an earpiece in her ear. And she's going to do whatever I tell her to do. And Paris, can you hear me? If you can hear me, snap your fingers. All right, great. All right, go in the store. And I'll, uh, when you go in the store, Yell, bonjour! Get it? Because my name's Paris. We have hidden cameras in the store. Bonjour! Because my name's Paris. Hello. Can please, can someone please help me? Can someone please help me? Yeah, let me get John for you. Thank you. I don't want John. I don't want John. Is there anyone else here? Hi. Hi. What's, what's your name? Okay. What's your name? John. Hi, John. Can I call you Johnny? Can I call you Johnny? Sure. Can I call you Billy? Can I call you Billy? Can I call you Steve? Why not? Okay. Steve? Uh, maybe? I don't, do I look as a Steve? Okay, I'll call you. Okay, I'll call you maybe. 
I'll call you maybe. Maybe sounds good. Okay. Huge. Are you, are you single? So what are you shopping for? Are you single? Yes, unfortunately. You know, I can do a perfect impression of a bumblebee. Listen to so, me, Buzz. Are you shopping for something? You know, I can do the, the perfect impression of a bumblebee. Can you really? Buzz. <laughs> All right, Paris, start moving your lips around. Say, can you read my lips and just move them around crazy? Can you read my lips? <laughs> what did I just say? What did I say? You said... Do it again to him. No? Try it again. <laughs> what did I say? What did I say? Uh, I don't know. I said that's hot. I said that's hot. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> tell everyone to stop looking at me. Tell, tell everyone to stop looking at me. No, yes. <laughs> I don't want to be mean to people. All right, do your, do your, do your bumblebee again. <laughs> this would look so hot on you. Tell them to put it on. Can you put this on, just like? Right now? Yeah, because yeah. you're the size tell, of my friend. Tell him to take, a shirt, him to take like. a shirt off. Tell him to take his shirt off. You have to take, take that off, off because then you can't really tell what it looks like on. Okay. But with the V-neck on you, it's so cute. But wear the V-neck sure? backwards because that's hot. V-neck ones are hot. But V-necks backwards are hotter right now. But you have to wear it backwards. It's the new style. Really? You didn't know that? No. Are you sure a small is going to fit me? Yes. Yeah. That is so sexy. That's so sexy. Oh. Okay. I'm bored of this now and walk away. <sighs> All right, I'm bored. <laughs> Just keep going. Just keep going. Mm. Just keep going. I'm not paying for anything. I'm not yeah. paying for anything. All right. <laughs> Yeah. I know, I haven't seen you in a long time. No. Your birthday was just recently, right? When was your yes. birthday? February 17th. Very, happy birthday. You were 30? Is that yes. right? Wow, that's a big one. Very and you had a... Uh, <laughs> and you had a big party, I understand. I saw some pictures. There was a big party? I had a couple of them, yeah. A, a couple of them. Mm -hmm. I thought I had just missed one, but you had, uh, you had several. Mm -hmm. and, and where was my invitation? Uh, BFF, what happened? We had a whole handshake, we had a hug, we had... I thought we bonded. I thought we had something special. What happened to us? Well, after we went clubbing and you wanted to go home at like 7 p.m. Yep. I was like, my parties don't start till like 10-ish, so. Really? Ooh, that's too late. Yeah, it's too that's late. too late. Seriously, now what time did your parties start? And what time did they end? Um, it ended like 2-ish. Two, 2, that's not that bad. Not bad. I wouldn't make it that long, but that's not that <laughs> bad, right? It was fun. And, uh, and that's your new boyfriend, right? We've been together almost a year. Okay, so this is, uh, this is, uh, there was a theme for that party? Moulin Rouge. That's right. Mm -hmm. I had heard about that, and I really did expect a call, and I had an outfit picked out and everything. Oh, no. And, well, I'll just show people, because I didn't get to go, to go but, uh, <laughs> yeah. uh <laughs> Next time. No, I already <laughs> gave it away to charity. <laughs> And your boyfriend's name is Sai, is that right? Sai, yeah. and you've been together a year? Almost a year. A year, and, and, uh, and he, he seem happy? I'm really happy. Okay, and what makes, what makes him, because you know I care about you, I and what makes him different than the other guys? He's just, he's so loyal and protective of me, mm -hmm. and he saved my life, and uh, he's my hero. He saved your life in what way? Well, I got burglared a few months ago by this guy who came in with two huge knives. No. And Sai in your house? Him. Yes. And so, Sai what? He stopped him. Stopped him? Mm -hmm. Well then, yeah, stay with him. <laughs> and he's just so loyal and amazing, and he's my best friend, and he treats me like a princess, and he just bought me a car for my birthday, which is Because you so needed sweet. another car. How many, <laughs> how many cars do you have now, Paris? Three. Three, that's not as bad as not I thought. Four. So that's Sai right there. Yes. And where are y'all there? That was in Maui. In Maui. Mm -hmm. And, um, and is, he, is he cool with all the attention? Because you just get you know, everywhere you go, you have, do you still have the same kind of thing? When we shot something together, literally, paparazzi does not leave you alone. Are they still like that with you? Yeah, they are. They are, and he how is he with like that? He doesn't like it. He's very camera shy, and he just doesn't, he doesn't like it, but he's learning to deal with it, you know, after a year of being together. He has to. You kind of have to get used yeah. to it. 
All right, and so what's what's the uh, we're talking about reality shows today because I watch reality and and your aunts both your aunts were on the Real Housewives yes. of Beverly Hills, which is we, I had uh, actually Kyle I had on the show, and was that interesting for you to watch them on that show? I loved watching the show. I thought it was really entertaining, mm -hmm. and um, towards the end there was a lot of drama. So there was. I didn't really like that too much. No, that must be hard to watch, especially because yeah. they had that that. Thing going on and so what is your reality your reality show is different than your other because your other ones you were kind of playing more of a character yeah. and now you're you the new one is called the world according to paris it's mm -hmm. an oxygen and it's a show just about my real life my real friends my family and everything that happens from when i go to bed and they're and wake up in the morning <laughs> some like literally like all day long the cameras are following you around mm -hmm. just watching you probably do a lot of business because you're an entrepreneur a lot of business. yeah and then um, Charlie Sheen's ex, Brooke, is in the show, right? Yes. Which is, uh, you know, you had no idea all this stuff was going to be happening when you shot that. Let's just say there's a lot of drama in the show. A lot of drama. Because mm -hmm. you're still shooting? Yes. <laughs> you're still shooting right now? Yes. Oh, wow. And, and uh, so you're capturing her side of all this stuff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you can't tell us anything? It's a surprise. Yeah. <laughs> A little bit. It's it's really good. There's there's a lot that happens. Uh huh. You have to see. All right. Well, when does it come out? Um, the spring, I think in May. I can't wait that long. That's a long time. I know. All right. So, and who else is? She's just in it because she's your friend and she's in the area, right? Yes. And who else is in the show? Also, my mom mm -hmm. and my best friend Jennifer Rivero and my other best friend Allison Melnick. What about me. <laughs> um. Well, let's do Maybe something. Maybe next season. All right, all right. I would love to have you on. Okay. You are my BFF. I know. Well, that's what but I you're thought. You're so busy. Me? You're so busy. You have another fragrance out I now. Know. How many fragrances do you have? This is my 11th line and my 13th fragrance. The three just came out at once, called the Passport Collection. Wow. You have it's so much going on. All right. Uh, we're going to take a break. When we come back, uh, we're going to play. Uh, oh, you have an app. You have yes. a new app, too. I do have a new app. Wow. All right. So we're going we're gonna to play a game incorporating your new app. It's not really a game. It's, I don't know what it is, but <laughs> something. We'll be back. We'll be back. With my BFF, even if it's in my own head, Paris Hilton. <laughs> uh, and so this new app is, uh, th whose idea was this? It's a good idea. It was my idea. Okay, and, and tell people how it works. Well, there's a lot of fun features, but one of the best ones is called BFF. Mm -hmm. And basically, I could take a picture of yourself mm -hmm. and pick it with one of my poses. I'll do it now, and then I'll show you. All right? And then press this button. And then we have a picture of us together. <laughs> so it's a lot of fun. You could just do that with any pose. And that's for, great. For today, for Ellen viewers, it's 99 cents instead of 2.99. OK. So a deal for everyone. Really? <laughs> it is a yes. deal. All right, well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put you uh, on that green screen over there, and you're going to be posing with uh, different types of people okay. and things, and I'm going to try to um, describe who they are and what they are so that you can guess, okay? And then right. uh, we'll see if you can guess who you're posing with. Let's do this. And this is my new app. <laughs> <laughs> i got to start coming up with some stuff instead of just hosting a show all the time. All right. Oh. Put your hands in the air, Paris. Put your hands in the air. Yay. And, and try to exercise. And try to exercise with, with him. <laughs> exercise with oh, him. Oh, Richard Simmons? That's right. That's right. <laughs> All right. Oh. All right. Stand the way you were. Very proper. Because very, you're, you, they're about to get married. You wanna, I don't know if you're invited or not, but they're getting married. They're my cousin. Prince William and his wife. Kate Middleton, yeah. Kate, well. <laughs> Kate Middleton. Oh, be careful. Be careful. They, they're, they're in danger. They're, they're on the North Pole, and they're in danger. They're tall, and, and they, they can hurt you, but they don't want to hurt bear. you. Polar bear. Huh? Polar bear. That's right. All right. <laughs> ah. He's got a beard, and he's tall, and, and uh, he had a really bad night one time at a theater. <laughs> Four score and seven year ago. He, what? He, he Abraham was a, Lincoln. 
right. That's right. Oh, be careful. Be careful. Uh, put your, lean the, your head down a tiny bit. Like lean, yeah, no. Like lean your head like that. Uh, like shark? that. Ah! Be careful. Is it a shark? Huh? Is it a shark? No, it's not a shark. But it's, uh, it's in Africa. If you went on safari, you might see one. And uh, mm. they're large, and they have a huge mouth. Huge mouth. Hippopotamus. That's right, hippopotamus. <laughs> oh, do that. Take your left hand and do that. Take your left hand and do that. Yep, that's right. Go <laughs> leap like that. Yes, like that. That's good. And he was on a show called Fantasy Island. Do you remember that show, Fantasy Island? I know what it is, but I've never seen it. No. Little, little. Do you uh, have you ever had any ink put on you? What a ink? tattoo? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> tattoo. That's right. His uh, name was Tattoo. Uh, oh. oh! All right, he's an actor and he's always on the beach and he's always got his shirt off. And, and they Matthew have a, McConaughey. That's right, that's right. Oh! Uh. What? <laughs> that, this is a good one. Um. <laughs> There's nothing to say other than it's my prom picture. That's all. You're very sweet people, you are. Say hello to my guest DJ. That's Paris Hilton over there. Yeah. What up, BFF? What's up? I miss you. I miss you. It's been a, a while. You know, and I'm so happy you're here because we've had guest DJs before, but they're not really DJs. But you actually are a real DJ. Yes, I am. You've been like to DJ school and stuff. I have. <laughs> what kind of what kind of unit do you work on? I work on a tractor S4, That's but I also right. do CDJs as well. Yeah, me too. Um, <laughs> so you have been where? Where you've been in uh, uh, Ibiza? Ibiza. Ibiza. Mm -hmm. For how long? I was there for two months. That's a long gig. Somebody booked yeah. you for two months? Yes, I had so much fun. I was playing for ten thousand people every single night. It was incredible. That's a, look at you up there. That's mm -hmm. amazing. It was pretty insane. Yeah, and then like, what are your hours? Like, what time do you start? Uh, my set starts around 4 a.m. and then goes till 6 a.m. Right. And then this, this foam comes out from like 6 to 7 or 8. So the, the foam comes out? Yes, it's a foam and diamonds party. How many people here have been to a foam party? <laughs> Anybody? A couple of people have been to the foam party. That would be a lot of, uh, you need that around 6 a.m. You need some foam. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty crazy. It's. It's like nothing, no other party you've ever been to, definitely. Well, for sure, I'd say that. Um, <laughs> it's kind of like being in a car wash. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And uh, you have a new hit song also with Lil Wayne, right? Yes, it's called Good Times. Good Times mm -hmm. that we're going to be hearing, hopefully, yes. uh, today. I'll be playing it. Paris and I, we're, we're calling each, each other BFF, but uh, we were, for a night, we were BFFs. Mm -hmm. And then, you, I don't know, you didn't call after that, but. <laughs> you go to bed too early for me. I really do. Mm -hmm. that's, that's the only problem. Otherwise, we would hang out constantly. Exactly. <laughs> Thanks for being here, Paris. It makes me happy to look over me there and too. see you. Um, we offer bottle service now, so let me know if you need anything. Loves it. All right. <laughs> let me get you some foam. I'm going to send you some foam. Yes. Bring some foam to Paris. There. Yes. Do whatever you want. You guys ready? Yeah. That's yours to do with whatever you have a party over there, all right? Awesome. All right, we'll be right back. Wow, well, that's a beautiful dress, and that is an amazing bracelet you're wearing on your ring <laughs> finger. <laughs> Thank you. Wow. That is insane. He did good. Yeah, that's good. Mm -hmm. Now, did he pick that out, or did you pick that out? He did. He wow. surprised me, and he had it custom made. And He's got good it. taste. He really does. That's amazing. How many carrots is that? Like, like a million? 20-something. I told him, go big or go home. Well. <laughs> 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 He's with you. He had to already know that. Yes. I'm happy. By the way, I just it's good to see you, but I'm really happy for you. I'm happy that you're happy. So happy. Yeah, it's been a while. You've been uh, you've been here lots and lots, and then uh, you weren't here for a while. 
Did you forget we were BFFs? I missed my BFF. What happened? I just got busy. <laughs> just life and stuff? Yeah. I did reach out to you after the documentary because I thought yeah. that that was great. Yes, thank you for yeah, that. Yeah, of course, of course. But you look great. Um, so all the times that you've been here, I have a favorite memory, but what is your favorite memory? There's so many, but my most favorite was when you came to my house and we hung out there in my club and we were dancing on the stripper pole. And then we went clubbing yep. in Hollywood and that was so much fun. We've had so much fun together, but that was my favorite also. We're gonna show that today when we went clubbing. Yes. Um, and she, do you still have a stripper pole in your house? No, I actually, cause I'm grown up now, I <laughs> took out the club and it's a movie theater now. Oh good, smart, mm -hmm. smart. Um, and now you're married and uh, congratulations. And, uh, <laughs> and now, how did y'all meet? Tell everybody how you met. Because you met earlier. I know how you met, but tell everybody how you met. We met 15 years ago at one of my house parties, and we were friends. And then we reconnected um, 2019, Thanksgiving in the Hamptons, and we've been inseparable ever since. It's so weird that it just, it, it's about the timing, right? Because yes. you met him, but it wasn't the right time for him or for you. And then it just seems like he's like the perfect guy for you. He really is. Yeah. I wasn't ready for a nice guy yet. But, yeah, you have to go through yeah. all, the, all the bad boys and mm -hmm. realize that some, it, it's, it's true, it's not fair because a lot of really nice, sweet guys, you know, they're, you're too, they're too nice. I know, but now I love it. Yeah, yeah, I good. found a hot nerd. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I like it too. Um, so you uh, got married, your wedding was three days long, mm -hmm. um, which is, uh, a lot of people do that though, right? Yeah, because you have people flying in, so it's nice to have like a whole weekend for everyone. Right, so you got married at your grandparents' house. Yes. And then you went to? We got married on 11-11, because I'm obsessed with Make-A-Wish at 11-11. So that was a Thursday at my grandfather's old estate. Mm -hmm. And then we rented out the Santa Monica Pier and threw a neon carnival with Diplo DJing. It was so sick. And then Saturday night, we went back to my grandfather's old estate and did another celebration party. That's fantastic. Mm -hmm. That's a fun, and, and did everything go the way you hoped it would go? Um, it was very stressful, um, especially because I hadn't written my vows up until I was literally about to walk down the aisle. Um, That's and so not like you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that part was very stressful, but I ended up winging it. So, uh, and, and that's probably the way to go. And, he, and whose vows were better than yours or his? His were so sweet and so romantic, but mine were just, I was just speaking from the heart, so. Yeah. They were really funny. Like, everyone was laughing. Yeah. And it was, everyone said it was one of the most, it was the most fun wedding they've ever been to. And then you went on a honeymoon for seven weeks? Seven and a half weeks. Seven and a half weeks. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I mean, that's the way to do it. Where did you go? We started off in Bora Bora, and then we went over to the Bahamas, and then to London, and Dubai, Maldives. We went everywhere. So, um, and then you, you're now gonna have uh, babies? Yes. N lots of babies? I want a couple, yeah. Probably yeah. like two or three. Two or three? Mm -hmm. And you have names picked out already? Yes, the girl is gonna be named London Marilyn Hilton Ream. Marilyn after my grandmother. Uh -huh. And London, because it's my favorite city, and I just think Paris and London sound cute together. Yes, of course it does. <laughs> and then will the other uh, child, you said you'll have two or three, will they also be named um, a country or a city or something like that to go along with you? Yes, but I'm not gonna say yet because I'm scared someone will steal the name. Oh, it's that good. Mm -hmm. Does that name exist right now? Does anyone have that name? No one I know. No, mm -hmm. you're gonna come up with a brand new name. Yep. <laughs> Trade market, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> Argentina? I'm not telling you. <laughs> All right, we're gonna take a break then. I, I, I'll guess it, I will. <laughs> Phoenix. <laughs> All right, we'll be back. We're back with Paris Hilton, and uh, you live a very interesting life uh, that people are always uh, interested in, in knowing more about. So we're gonna play a game to find out a little more about you and how your mind works. It's called Paris Blanking Hilton. All right, we're gonna read a sentence, and uh, you're gonna fill in the blank with the first thing that comes to mind. Let's see the first one. 
The first famous person I had a crush on was? Dylan McKay from Beverly Hills, Mad at Tonneau. Luke no. Perry. <laughs> Were you ever with him? Did you date him? No. No? Mm -hmm. Why not? Because I was like 12. <laughs> <laughs> Good answer. OK. The next one. The strangest thing I've ever been asked to endorse is? Canned beans. Yeah, when I was in Mexico, some food company offered that to me, and I was like... You said no? I just it didn't fit the brand. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next one. If my husband ever tried to make me blank, I would scream. Hmm. He's so sweet. He doesn't really... I think maybe just taking away my phone. <laughs> like, during dinner, like, he'll be like, put your phone down, stop texting. Yeah. I'll, I'll do it, but it just... So then I that doesn't fit that. You need something that would make you scream. I don't even know. Because he doesn't try to make you do anything no, you don't want to do? he doesn't. Do you cook? Yep. You do? I do everything. <laughs> mm -hmm. He cooks with me. I taught him how to cook. Really? Mm hmm What's your specialty? Lasagna. Really? Yes. That takes a long time. It was, it's you know, worth it. Layers and noodles. Mm hmm I don't know. <laughs> All right. I've eaten lasagna. I know, Mary. <laughs> All right, the next one. The best party I've ever been to was at Blank's house. Puffy's 50th birthday. It was so sick. Yeah. Mm hmm <laughs> Epic. All right, next one. I learned the best way to avoid the paparazzi is? To disguise myself wearing wigs. Has that worked? Sort of. Not really, but sometimes, like, I would send my friend out in a blonde wig with, like, big sunglasses and like whatever, like a tracksuit, and they'd run in the car and then I'd go out like a back way in a brown wig. So they thought that person was you, mm -hmm. and then you'd be in another wig going somewhere else? Going out a different entrance, yeah. Right. It's worked. And what kind of wig? Like, do you, do you have a lot of wigs at home? So many, like hundreds. Really? But I, will, I won't wear like a pink one or something because that's too obvious. I'd wear like, you know, like black or red or... Right. Just different from mine. You have hundreds of wigs? Mm -hmm. Do you name them? I know people name their wigs. Oh, no. No, people name their I think Dolly Parton names her wigs. That's cute. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next wig. one. The worst thing about having five phones is, do you have five phones? Yeah, I lose them all the time. Wow. Keeping track of them, that's probably the hardest God, thing. No wonder you don't respond right away. <laughs> um, what's the worst thing about having five phones? Because you lose them? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> but, well, well, then just have one so that you don't have to worry about losing four others. Good point. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right.